hope that you are having a fabulous day so far and if you've missed out on these in the past do not worry i have got you covered now a little bit of housekeeping first off fire accents are here no no, no not that type um we have got for you today the opportunity to add and save okay what I mean by that is for you today, whilst we're on the show, you have the chance to add elements to your basket, things that you want, things that you fancied, things that you've been holding out for to see at a great deal. If you add one item to your basket, for example, our incredible launch party items, then you will save 21%. No code needed. It's done like that. If, say, though, you wanted to treat yourself to this and, oh, I don't know, this then you will be getting 22 percent off add three items you get 23 percent off four items is 24 percent off up to five items to get a full 25 percent off and that is on top of your club inspire how epic is that so the prices that you see on screen today even in the normal white box basically ignore them you're going to get a minimum extra 21 percent off that is why today is so the day to get involved and we have so much to show you we have got serious creativity I want to let you know and talk about first if I may the uh, wonderful uh, Broadway Anglaise. We've been practicing this. Brodre Anglaise. Um, in this is our launch party. Now, it launched on the 11th, so it's still really new to us here at Crafters. And I will just let you know that with this, you're going to be getting paper pads as well. Now, if you've not heard of this design, um, if we break it down for you, obviously we're talking about um, um, a French word here. We're talking about brodre, meaning embroidery, and then we're talking about anglaise. So what we're getting here is, you know, like your summertime dresses that come with often sort of um, elements cut out in linen and fabrics, this is the kind of look that you are going to get. I've got two stunning designs for you. If you wanted the Chantilly, it's that one. And I've also got your Calice if you want this one too. I love this one, so summery. And of course, great if you wanted to interlink them and do almost a patchwork design, you could do that. I have also got for you some massive 12 by 12 brand new colors. If you've not seen these before, get ready to ooh and ah. I have got super duper springtime. Hey, oops, someone's had a piece of that. I've got super duper springtime colours, and I'm bringing to you as well your mixed cardstock. Now, this has got that lovely, like linen-like feel, which is perfect to go with the embroidery dies themselves. These are epic. And speaking of epic, we have already been shaking up a sensation with our previous show. We've still got the fabulous Jan with us. Hi, Jan. Hello. Yes, I'm looking forward to this one. We've got some new products on here to have a play with, yes. So uh, I was on holiday last week. Mm. So I watched quite a few of these being launched last week. And it's really nice to be able to get to have a play with them. So yes, looking forward. Got loads of demos lined up again for you, as always. And do not forget, if you're watching and it is around about four minutes past the hour, then we are live. So get your messages in. I've already had Monica in saying hello from Southern California. I've also um, one cup of coffee down. At least one more to go. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, hello from South Dakota. That's in from Tamara. Hello to Mitzi saying hello to everyone from Virginia. It's lovely to have you all on board with us today. And it's not just the wonderful Broderay uh, collection that I've got for you. I have also got something which has been ultra popular since its launch, which was not that long ago at all. If you've missed out on it, now is your chance to get your shaped card base dies. Now in this collection, remember it's add more, save more. So 71.95, wipe that out of your head, take 21% off it already. We're giving to you a massive collection of 54 dies. All of these dies that you can use to cut your card design and decorate. And I've got 
29 stamps in total because you've got your classy and fabulous handbag design remember though this could easily if you want to add like a buckle onto it it could be like a first day in a new job kind of design couldn't it or maybe someone's going on holiday it's a good one we've also got for you one of our favorites this is busy camping this design has got this camper van feel or um uh, caravan feel to it and it's got other elements that you can add along to it you could turn this into an ice cream van if you wanted and then I have got for you my favorite we've got the shoe for all of you high heeled lovers this is one that you can make any design you'd like perfect maybe for mem um, memento cards after for example a wedding copy the bride's shoe there's loads and loads of opportunity with this and the best opportunity is that discount you're getting today with our not just our on-screen discount but also with that add and save so make the most of it right now and I know full well that we are going to have a fun filled show so do feel free to get in touch with us let us know what you're up to what's speaking to you and why I would also love to know if you've got anything fun on this week so just as a quick reminder I have got for you this lovely Broderie Anglaise collection to massive dies these are so nice and sizable and give you an intricate look that let's be completely honest even if you are very very handy with a craft knife you're not going to be able to get this precision very unlikely and if you are it's going to take you a time with us here though one pass through your die machine and it's done it is also coming with big 12 by 12s in new colors of your cardstock so if you would like to seize the moment, this comes included with them. You've got real opportunity here. And we have got some really kind of eye-popping designs, right, Jan? Honestly, it's, it's like, um, I, I don't know how to describe it, Becky. It is, it is just like a lace panel, isn't it, honestly? Mm -hmm. And depending on what you use, so what cardstock and what colours you use, it can be made to look so different and I'm going to show you that now I love doing the comparisons with them so this one's sort of very fresh looking very spring looking oh. mixing and matching with things like we said that we've got in our stash so that's those little cut on the edge characters and that lovely spring palette colors there mm. but then when you actually pop it next to this one which has been done wow. in the black it's exactly the same die and I'll just stand that one up for you but done with the black and the gilding wax, you've got two very, very different designs, yeah. which is essentially the same die cut piece. It's just had different things done to it. And I just think it looks great. And then just to bring you this third one in, which is the same design here. And these are the Calais design with that lovely sort of little <laughs> daisy patterning again really quite vintage feel to that one with the way that's been inked up and then that beautiful old key and the wax seal on that one so again you know lots of different ways to use them and then the second one is that chantilly and again just to bring some of these in for you again absolutely beautiful so again whether you like to use your inks or whether you want to use some of those new pattern uh, new new color palette from those new paper pads Again, you know, can be used portrait or landscape. Oh, but just look at that as a backdrop it. and then done with oh. that beautiful holographic card wow. there. So again, silhouette butterflies there. Mixing and matching again all the time. And then this is those papers from the pad there with that oh. real vintage sort of feel to That's it. Again, beautiful. using it as a panel there on the front to do the talking. But wow. just with a little bit of extra ink really really effective aren't they so we're going to demo with these first becky great we're going to get a demo in with these right at the top of the show and i chose the calais one to do first so this is the more sort of delicate of the two i think and it's got like that daisy uh, patterning that design yeah. in there so inside your packet then you're going to get that beautiful and five by seven inch so five inch from edge to edge seven inch from top to bottom there so a really nice sizable piece for you to use either as a backdrop a focal point you can cut into it you might want to just use a part of it so many different ways for these to actually work so when we take this one off our carrier sheet just get that one off there we're going to use this onto some pearlescent cardstock so i've just got some pale pink here to start with and we're first of all just going to cut it out to show you how it beautiful 
it cuts and how easy so again i'm just going to tape it down so that it doesn't fall off the edge and i only end up with half a pattern mm. and then somewhere down there that's it amongst all those things i had my uh, plates there so again as always try it first without your metal shim it is quite a detailed die but if you're using the gemini i honestly don't think it's going to be a problem here and i'm only using thin cardstock if i was going to cut something like craft card i would maybe end up adding in the metal shim just so that it gives it that little bit of extra sort of oomph in there but i think for the um pearlescent cardstock it should be fine but again try it first and like i've said many times before you know if you're buying these and get them home First thing do, cut them out of some scrap card, have a look at them, have a look at the detail in them, see how it, uh, it copes in your Gemini, things like that. Do you need to add the shim in so that you're not wasting that lovely, precious sort of premium cardstock that you're going to make your designs with? But if we have a look at this now on the other side, I'm fairly certain. Wow. Perfect. Need I say any more? Blimey. <laughs> and that is the power and testimony of our Gemini. Just look at that. There's not a piece. In fact, there's that, always that one pesky little bit there, look, I think. But the majority of that has literally come straight out with the die. Absolutely stunning. It really is. You know, it may be that um, taking it back to those dies that we had on earlier, you know, if you're going to use that cut and emboss folder like I used on the previous show, if you were watching us earlier on this afternoon, it may be that you just want to put a panel of this patterned work behind the apertures as your background. You know, so many different ways that we can actually use it. So what we're going to do with this one then, just get rid of all those spare pieces there. I'll sort the die out in a little while. And just make sure, if you're using your Gemini plates, make sure that all those little pieces come off your plate so that they're not going to leave an impression on anything else that you're going to uh, work with. So I've got my pale pink. I've also got some of the darker wine colour, and I've, I've cut it out of this colour as well. And we're going to work with both of those pieces on our card blank. So let me just bring the blank in first. So we've literally gone quite big with this one. We're sort of six by eight and a quarter, which is the width of our cardstock. And then I've just taken some more of these pieces to do a general matting and layering. And this is actually from our um, Bell Countryside, the papers in there. So let's get those stuck down first and get those onto the, uh, the card base. Let's make sure that's gonna fit on there. Yes, yeah, just got a nice little edge. So again, just using the tape pen for those layers, because they're only lightweight. Again, if you wanted to use your glue, I would be going with the um, all-purpose glue for my cardstock to cardstock there. So again, it's just got a nice little tiny whiteboard around the edge of the card there. That, just that tiny sixteenth of an inch again all the way around, so that we've got that detail. And then just inked a little tiny bit around the edge of that one just to soften those edges. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Now I've done it again. I've already stuck it down and I shouldn't have done. I should have stuck that one on there. And I've done it again. I always stick them down when I shouldn't because I wanted to put some ribbon around it. So because it's the tape pen, we should actually be able to lift those corners for a second. I want a bit of tape around, a bit of ribbon around that one, and a bit of ribbon. So it's a good job I hadn't pressed it all down too, too firm. So yeah, I've just taken some ribbon, and I'm just going to literally pop this across those corners, all right? So again, we should be able to trap that in the back now. It would have been better to do this before I stuck it down, but you'll get the, uh, the idea. If I pop that in and then trim those edge pieces off, And then we're going to do the same on that top edge there. So that one's in. And then I'm just going to pop another little piece there. There we go. Nobody would know. And then we'll do the same at the top there. So again, round that top corner. Just took it round the back. As I say, it would be easier to do this before you stick it down. But Jan gets excited. <laughs> and I, have to, I want to get to that, you know, that main bit. And uh, I always forget. I usually put myself a little sticky note on to add ribbon because it's the one thing and the same when I'm at home I always end up forgetting it and having to do this and trying to jiggle it about but yeah we've, we've rescued it we're good there we go nobody would be any the wise no, so now we can give it a good 
press down to make sure all that tape's nice and sealed. So let's get rid of those bits. And then what we're going to do is, like I said, I'd cut those pieces. But what I've done, you know me, nothing's ever straightforward, is it? <laughs> so I've literally, that was my dark piece and that was my light piece. So I've stacked them on top of each other and literally popped them in my guillotine and I've cut them from one corner to the other, just literally on that straight line there. And what I actually want to do is use one of each piece. So the question arises is, do we want the dark at the bottom mm. and the light at the top, like so? Or do we want the dark at the top? Oh, choices. Oh. And the light at the bottom. I think I actually like it that way. I was going to say the same, you know. Did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've got, you've your got mind, enough to make it? another card anyway, whichever way you do it, because you can use the other two pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop those down onto our card front like so. So out comes the dotty tape pen this time, because we've got that lovely decorative uh, die cut there. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of scrap, and then we're going to go onto the back, and this will work beautifully on the back of these. So nice light touch with your dots and they will hit that die and just coat the back of the card. So again, I'm using this one to position because I want to roughly centre them in between whoops, the card there. So let's lay this one down just to get an idea. So I reckon probably about there like so. So that's that one down in place. And then we're going to do the same with the pink half. So again, using those dots nice and light. Don't press on too hard. The dots transfer beautifully. If you press on too hard, you'll get them in the gaps. And that's what we're trying to alleviate with those dots, is just to get them on the back of the card. And then we're going to pop that one down. And that will match up because we had them together when I cut them. That's going to match up beautifully there. Just get those pieces in place as if it's one continuous piece there. Okay. And then I've got a sentiment to go at the bottom. So I've just stamped out with love from me to you, which is going to come down at the bottom here. I've got some ribbon, which we're going to pop on the top there so i think i've still got my heat gun on from earlier yep so we'll put a little tiny bit of hot glue not my heat gun my glue gun need another glue stick in there by the looks of you know here we go <laughs> have a stash mm. have a little stash so again that one can go in the back and hopefully we can now get come on Is it going to play? What is happening? <laughs> Do you know, every so often it decides to play up this. I keep saying I'm going to bring mine from home, but uh, there we go. I think that's got it now. Just needs a little bit on there just to pop and get rid of those strings. And that one's going to go on the top corner there to match. Get rid of those extra bits of glue into the bin. And then I've got a few little flowers just to decorate at the bottom. And I've got a stash of my favourite little dreamies. Uh, oh, I'm in love with these. Mm. The little dreamies adhesive uh, gems, which we've had on the shows previously. Mm. So I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes, Becky. Just I'm going to add these into the gap. So I've brought silver to go on the dark aspect. Mm. And then I've got that lovely wine colour to go on the pink. Got you, perfect. So I'm just going to spend a minute or two popping those in place well, and then I'll show you the finished one when we've, we've got it all together. Speaking of spending a minute, I uh, just spent a minute on a, 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 a good old time app I like to call a calculator. Ooh. Because I was just thinking, you know when you ran this through and you saw Jan run this through her Gemini, didn't even use the metal shim. And it cut beautifully, even into that pretty heavy duty double sided cardstock. I thought to myself, I wonder how many little pieces that's just cut out. 
I've done the maths. Oh, she's done the maths. Uh, uh, I've counted them. I've double counted them. And I've triple checked. And I am going to give myself leeway of about 5% either way, because my answer each time was different. Well, I'd like you to have a guess. Have a little nosy at this one. I've only counted this I bet one. There's a fair few. I'll give you a clue. There's more than ten. We have got here for you. This one is your Cali uh, design. I want you to guess how many holes this die cut out one pass of the whole uh, piece to get your messages in just as a reminder as to what you're getting in here you are getting the beautiful Cal uh, calais of your broderie anglaise and also you are getting the chantilly as well which i think this was obviously a bit uh, larger on the pieces could be kind of cool for paper piecing and so much more i'm not stopping there though i'm getting pastels in my wonderful new luxury mixed cardstock check out these colors and just to let you know slight texture to this it's almost like a close-up on linen really pretty so you've got loads of hues in here including your baby pinks your lavenders your peaches i've got greens as well i've got yellows in this too now if you're anything like me and when you get new paper pads such as this with a range of lovely colors Actually, I would say these are really cool colours for the camper van, I think. But if you do uh, hear anything like me and you just want the papers alone, they are now at the bottom of your screen. $16.99 or $19.95. As a quick reminder, Rue, though, we've got the add and save on today. So if you check out one thing and that's it, in your basket at one time, you save 21%. If you check out five things at a time, you're going to save yourself 25% on your order. So I've got this one for you. Also in this collection, just to let you know, is your neutrals as well. So you're getting 250 GSM, which if you knew is the thickness of it. So the higher the number, the thicker it is. This one is, uh, it's got a wonderful sort of uh, thickness to it, but a nice um, element for you to still be able to run through your die cutting machine. Loads of different colours in here, including you're getting the sort of metallic pearlescent ones in here too. So you're getting complementary colours. So if I show you, this one here is like your textured linen, but then you have the complementary colour, which is actually pearlescent. So you should be able to see you've got that lovely pearlescent design on this one. And again, with the neutrals here, this one's got the linen-like effect and texture to it whereas you are also getting a complementary design that has the pearlescence to it so this is what you're getting in this collection all pairing up together both 12 by 12 pads and the wonderful dies themselves so do feel free to treat yourself to these whilst you have the opportunity to do so at just 48.95 ignore that price because it's 21 percent off uh, but also 55.35 in dollars how are you getting on jan right i've got all my little pearls in place and then all i've done is just die cut few little tiny flowers out of the scraps that were left over from the same cardstock and we're just going to pop those on as that added embellishment so you can see there just in the center of all the flowers and I've alternated them according to the color and I just think you know absolutely stunning and you saw how well that die cut that great. honestly it just literally went through it like butter yeah and again just something different you know depending on like i said depending on what colors and what method you use it can look so so different it is stunning um did you have a guess how many did uh, i have a guess think? i was busy uh, i was busy sticking i didn't have a you guess were. i would say more than a hundred okay more than a hundred i would think okay that's quite vague it is very vague <laughs> johnny what are you guessing 148 oh. holes you think this one alone cuts out okay what about you director charlotte 500 right. okay gone big what do you think jan i'll go with 124 
Okay, I will, um, I'll break this down for you because like in GCSE maths, it's good to show you working. It is, you get <laughs> extra marks for showing you working out, Becky. I know, yeah. So with the daisies and their embellishments around them, you've got 30 embellishments around there and you'll get 24 daisies. I've also got in here the wonderful diamond shape, which has got 20 elements in the diamond, which are individual to the daisies, 15 of those. And then you've also got the frame elements, which is ignoring <laughs> the daisy uh, the patterns here just these frames here and you are getting 45 of those individually your total number of holes approximately on three calculations and this is my lowest number 1065 what 1065 heavens above look at all of these tiny 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 little holes here how incredible is and that and they all so cut got... in that one pass it's amazing that Didn't isn't it they? So if you have a look, can you see that in the flower, there's one here, but then you've got all of the petals, but also around this centre, I don't know if you can see it because it's quite hard to see, but around this centre, there is one, two, three, four, five, six holes, and then there's little tiny holes all around the petals. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> so all of these That's are little holes. That's some clever maths, that. Amazing, that, isn't it? Amazing. So yes, um, over a thousand from over one pass through a gemini. Gosh. That's magic. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do want to treat yourself to that now is your chance to do so it's a fabulous deal it really really is we had some good guesses um 670 holes is, is one guess and uh, laura is guessing 720 so yeah pretty close to be fair but counting even all those tiny little pinprick ones you've got a serious amount going on there i am bringing to you an opportunity to get an explorer kit now and this is a cut and emboss folder collection and there's lots of different tools in here which are really nice for letting you well explore your elements lend and your skills let's say I want to start off by bringing to you our cut and emboss. We had a lovely demonstration from Jan earlier on as to how to use cut and emboss designs. What does this one make you think of? Because when I'm looking at this one here, apart from giving me a full on whip woo, um, I love the detail in this. It makes me think of almost vintage frame design that actually could be pretty cool uh, if you did want to maybe put a photograph in there also. Um, it would be really nice with these if you wanted to maybe stitch through different, um, what are they called? Like um, threads, let's say. That'd be really nice if you did fancy doing that. Then you could put different threads through there. Hey, up, speaking of threads, on Friday, brand new fabric in, um, and it is the cutest fabric I've ever seen. Do you like a unicorn? Everyone does. It's coming up for you on Friday, just whilst I'm thinking. So yeah, you could stitch in and out of those if you wanted to. I've also got for you your open window. Now this is really cool. It kind of made me think of uh, Romeo and Juliet maybe. You've got the opportunity here with the lovely little opening windows and doors and the brickwork here, which is all raised. And then I've got your starburst design, which for me is lovely. Does anyone remember that bit at the start of Lion King where it's like, and uh, the fella with like the hairy face, what is he? Rafiki, yeah, he's a, he's a monkey, isn't he? Is he a baboon? Really? Um, he lifts up uh, the little baby Simba, doesn't he? And you get like the sunbeam. I'm almost imagining that kind of look. If you could put like a picture of someone in here. In fact, they'd look even more like the Teletubby baby in the sun. If anyone watched the Teletubbies. Yeah, could do, couldn't we? So yes, you want to have a little, uh, little idea there for you. Uh, obviously perfect for your sentiments too. So those are the three designs. Would you like one thing for free? I'll give you this for free if you fancy. This is your roller. This is great if you want to lay down plenty of colour in one swoop, nice and evenly. It's really good because you can create uh, kind of almost textures with it as well. Uh, loads you can do with this. Again, it's about exploring and trying it out. I did ask if you wanted something free. You've got it, but we like to be extra specially nice to you. So I'm going to bring to you as well, for free, some mini blending sponges. 
always useful again for swapping out colors and laying them down and creating designs you've got different points on here depending on what kind of look overall you want to get and because we well basically think you're brilliant we're bringing you more treats including the color that you can lay down i've got for you your harmony water based in the green topaz so we've got this color here i've also got for you your grasshopper and i've got for you your fuchsia so this is free 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 all you're paying for is this and this and this so if you do want to seize the moment what a great opportunity especially with our discount deals um because it's the add and save today if you don't know what that is head on over to our website it's on the home page there but make the most of it whilst you can the out of this world deal we also have for you today and these are the sarah favorite collection now i tell you what there is oodles in here so what this is containing is 13 items from Sara Signature. So we're getting different Sara Signatures here. So there's some elements from the Letters from the Heart, which is one of my favourites. And there's some from Caring Thoughts. There's some from Vintage Diary. And very exclusive rose gold as well so there's little elements within this so if you do want to treat yourself now is definitely your opportunity because you are saving over 70 percent on this with that extra 21 percent off right this is a really special time look at that 35 pounds but it should well actually let's say closer to 32 pounds ish um is what you're getting it for today this is your time go 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 and also i would say that quite a lot of them are the things that you'll use up so you're consumable so if you've been missing out on the big 12 by 12 paper pads and stuff you've got some of them in there too so well worth treating yourself and get it today whilst you get the extra 21 percent off too so this is your chance to do it as well as all of those goodies today i have the shape card bases for you too and with these shape card bases there's so much fun to be had so with these we have got three different designs that you can work with and play with in a really special manner so let's talk about this one first it is your classy and fabulous looks first off maybe like a normal handbag absolutely but we can easily turn it into a briefcase with the use of some of the embellishments we have. We can also keep it without a handle if you wanted to, like a lovely little clutch bag. This could be a laptop bag if you wanted it to be for that tech lover in your life. Got someone starting a new job? Well, perfect. Make this into a design for them. Or maybe even a first day to school backpack. You could do absolutely loads with this because you have the dyes to do it, including the likes of your luggage tags and lots of lovely sentiments, including life is short, well, I'm reading that upside down. Life is short, buy the bag. Oh, I like that one. Um, I feel like that's something like sort of Carrie Bradshaw would say. I've also got for you in here your busy camping. Now, this one, as you can see, has got that camper van die look to it but you can make this into so many different things again with the embellishment you could do a replica maybe of your own camper van or caravan you could turn this into maybe like a kid's toy truck um, like a tonka truck or something like that you could make this look like an ice cream van if you wanted to and actually with you know a little bit of now so you could even turn this into maybe a sort of um uh, thank you for the emergency services because if uh, with a little bit of work it could look like an ambulance couldn't it um, so this could be a really good one for you to treat yourself to lots of sentiments in here including the likes of home is where you park it <laughs> we've also got for you in here your shoe design lovely high heeled shoe element that we're bringing to you big details on here like your bows and your big shiny um, 
sort of diamante effect there and you're getting plenty of different elements in here including celebrate in style great for birthdays great for hen -dos. and remember you can cut one out or you can cut two out um, I think this would be lovely if you did want to uh, maybe say thank you to your bridesmaids for example there is just so much that you can do with these but as I always say you can't do anything if you don't treat yourself so if you fancy them info's on the screen and these really do whip up proper cards that you just want to have out always don't they Jan? <laughs> fun element again isn't it it's like we've had uh, one or two of these in the past we had the tea uh, the teapot we had that beautiful ball gown and they sold really well so this is almost like the next generation of shape cards but again who doesn't love a handbag <coughs> you know this this would fit so many different occasions it's so sweet and when it's actually made up we're probably looking at about five and a half by five inches to the so five and a half up to the top of the handle by about five inches across. So that would fit in an envelope if you wish to pop it in an envelope or you could make a little gift box to pop it in. But I just think they are absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got places inside there because they come with the stamp sets. You can stamp those greetings in there as well. But you've got the little tiny lock there. You've got all the hardware to pop on the bag there to make the handles and everything look realistic. So again, just in different colorways. And there's a slightly different uh, closure on this one. So you get sort of two designs for the price of one. So you can see this one's got the little satchel handles and then the envelope uh, fastener with the little button here. This one's got the handle with the little purse top fastener on it. So again, different ways of actually popping them together. And again, just looking at the different colours, it really does make such a difference. Again, look at that one. Oh. I love that in the greys and the black and red. Okay. Really, really effective. But you've got all those little pieces as part of the die sets to actually cut out and uh, and make those handbags. I think they'd be great for something like, you know, imagine um, a little girl's party and you could print all the details of the party inside the handbag and hand them out. Wouldn't that Jeez. be great? And you could actually, you know, your colour scheme could be matched to, you know, the party scheme. Lovely. And then this one's for our Becky. She's got them gorgeous <laughs> shoes. So again, you know, oh, this one monocle chrome but look how stunning i couldn't stand up in a pair like that becky i'd have no chance <laughs> apart from being about six foot four in a pair with a heel <laughs> like that uh, yeah i would not be able to stand up in those anymore <laughs> but gorgeous so this is using it as a topper on a card but again making that shaped card look at these Oh, like Dorothy <laughs> shoes. Aren't they adorable? Yeah. Again, you know, I'm thinking possibly, um, you know, like if you were having a hen party oh. or something like that. What about a little place setting if you're going out for a meal or something oh, okay. and decorated again with the, uh, the colour scheme? Yeah. But just real fun elements in them. And then, in my opinion, the pièce de résistance, I absolutely adore this one. This is your little camper van. That's so cute. All right, so busy camping. And again, like you said, depending depending on how you decorate this would depend on what kind of vehicle you'd got there so again you've got the little doorway that opens here you've got all the bits to you know to make the curtains in here you know the decorative elements you've got the wheels even down to details like the little headlight here at the front the little door handle all there for you in the kit as well as that base card to make the actual style itself so again whether you want to make it as a card whether you want it on a card front we're actually going to make it into a gift box later on Ooh. again just stunning i can just imagine this looking very retro -y with that um, paisley paper pad that we've got oh. in our uh, oh, it's not on the one. show tonight but it should be on the website but mm. i just think it would look really really retro and then the last one of those for you again just shows you the different cool. you know decorating it differently yeah. gives you a completely different look and again if you actually wanted to this one's just got a little uh, little piece inside it so that it will stand open like such That's but yeah real fun elements in these so we're going to start off with the handbag and do that one first okay. and then i'll show you the camper van a little bit later on in the show if you can stay with us so just to start off with them 
each die set has got a coordinating stamp set and they're all applicable obviously so a girl can never have too many handbags mm. all right i don't want flowers i want a handbag i just mm. think they're really really fun uh, sentiments in here what a girl wants classy and fabulous life is short by the bag mm. you know there's so many different ones there so that comes with it to match to complement and then you've got your die in here which has got the um the cut work on here so you've got all the different options in there and you can see you've got that sort of curved closure for the front which was the one that we showed you on here so this piece when we turn it round is going to create that curved closure and then you've also got the little envelope closure which gives you the more sort of pointed style there so different ways to work with them and then again you've got the makings of that little purse clasp or if you're just going to bring this one over, you've got the buttons to seal it, you've got the handle. Like I said, all the little hardware pieces to make the handles, the lock, everything's been thought about for you. So what we're going to do then, I'm going to take a couple of pieces and first of all, I've taken a small piece of stamping card and folded it. So to actually make my card blank, I'm going to take the outline piece of the, the actual purse there. I'm going to take some tape and I want to take this slightly over the edge of the card to leave the fold intact. All right, so I'm just going to pop this up so that the cutting edge on the top of the die is actually overhanging the back of the card. I don't want it to cut through. And that way, it's actually going to leave that piece intact for me. So I'm going to get the nice fold to make that tent fold on the, car, on the design but it's going to keep it in place. And then while we're doing that, we'll cut one or two other pieces out as well for decoration. So I've got some of them already cut, but again, I've just got some pieces and we're going to go sort of peaches and peaks on this one. So I've got the, the flap here for the top of the bag. And we're also going to cut out um, another handle. So just to take that one off, my goodness, that one's stuck on well. There we go. So we'll pop that on there as well. As I say, I have cut some of the little smaller pieces out. And then you've got those lovely corner pieces here to create that kind of satchel effect of the core. I've already cut those ones out. And I've cut some of the mini hardware pieces out there as well. So you've even got this little piece here makes a little tiny pocket. So if you want to pop like here, yeah. you've got that little tiny extra pocket on the front so lots and lots of different ways of doing these so let's just pass these through our gemini and a lot of these pieces will go through the smaller machines so you can see even that base die is going to fit through your midi or even the junior there so let's pop these on here and pass those through and cut those out as i say i've done a fair bit of the cutting and i'll show you which pieces i've got those from but I just wanted to show you that method with the actual um, card blank. And then what I've done is I've cut a second piece just flat. This is going to be the piece that we're going to decorate for the front. So I've got that one. You could just decorate straight onto the, the double piece. It's just it gives you that flat bit to work on here. So again, we've got our card blank there, which just take the tape off can't even see the tape there where's it gone there we go and the same at that side so again i'm just going to roll it back carefully there same on that one just to take that off and then we've got because we went over the edge we've got that facility to make that little card blank there so it's kept the fold so we can use that as our card blank so that bit's rubbish. And then I've got the pieces that we cut out of the pink. So we're going to hang on to those. We've got that lovely piece to create the flap. And we've got another piece for the handle. So let's pop those to one side for a second. And then what I've done is I've used the same piece for the bag again. And as I say, I've cut a second piece just in white stamping card and then I've also cut a piece in a piece of vellum from that lovely caring thoughts paper pad and we're actually going to pop that on the front to create that sort of makings of the handbag so that was done with that outside layer so let's just pop that one back on there we've done 
the piece for the flap there and then I've also got lots of other little bits so I'm going to show you those on here so that you can see where I've got them from so I've already stuck the little hardware pieces on here but you can see those corner elements here and then you've got the little die here to make and I've just used silver mirror card to cut those out I already cut one handle but we're going to double that up to make it to reinforce it to make it a wee bit stronger there and then I've also cut this piece here along with the little buckle and got those ready to create the bottom part of the handles there so this is actually going to be an extension of this piece here Cute. just to finish it off so it's really been thought through so we've yeah. got two of those and then i've also cut out the little tiny lock in some silver as well so we're going sort of pink and silver i've got a little bro to decorate with and i've also got my sentiment stamped out at the ready so let's pop this together then now so on the back of the vellum i'm going to go with my dotty tape pen if you've got <coughs> excuse me double-sided adhesive that works really well if you've got a you know a sizable area of vellum uh, it's notoriously hard to stick and the, the adhesive not show with vellum now the fact that this is a patterned one already we're on sort of an advantage rather than the plane mm. and as i say sometimes you get sort of like if i was to use my tape sometimes you can see the tape through so just with the dotty one it's going to apply enough adhesive for me but it's not going to show through as much on the front when we stick it down. Right. And as I say, if you've got the double-sided adhesive, that works really well. You can actually pop that onto the back of your vellum and then die cut through them together and you get sort of a seamless finish. So this is just going to marry up with that one underneath because we cut them both with the same die there. And you can see there's not much going on that you can see through there with the, the dots but they are strong enough to hold that in place. And then we've got our top bit here that's going to go on. All right, so again, I'm going to flick to the ordinary tape pen now because we don't need those dots. So again, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to form the flat piece on there. So again, it all fits nicely. It's all been designed to work together. And then we've got those little corners are going to come down to the bottom there and you can see how that's coming together already mm. so again just pop a little bit of glue if you prefer to use your wet glue go for it absolutely fine it's just this will dry straight away for me while we're actually demoing and then again piece on this side and then we're going to double up that handle just to strengthen it a little bit okay so I am actually going to use some wet glue on the handle there. So again, I've got that one and that one. So I'm just going to put glue <coughs> on the back of this one. Just because it's a, a thinner cardstock, it's going to give it a little bit more substance. Mm. All right, so they're going to match up nicely. And we'll just leave that to dry for a second. And then let's have a look. I've got somewhere, where's it gone? Where I did have, there it is. I've cut the other little silver piece to go in the middle of there. So that's going to be sort of effectively the, um, the closure. Okay. And then we're going to bring our handle in. And I'm just going to tack it onto the edge there. So I'm just going to put glue just across that bottom piece there. And just overlap it literally about an eighth of an inch onto the top of the bag there and then you can add these two pieces you can see now how that's creating that extension if you want to use foam pads for any of this go for it you know if you want to raise some of that detail up and again i'm going to bring the tweezers in so it's easier for me to position them when i've got my tweezers in action and the same on this one And again, that's going to go on the other side to match. Okay. And then inside, we can pop this one onto the front of our main card now. Just before I do that, I've got 
one of the stamp sets a girl can never have too many handbags i thought that was a nice one to mm. put mm. and i'm going to pop that on the inside of the uh, card i have put some foam pads on that one so we're going to have that as our sort of sentiment on the inside there and then we're just going to stick the whole of this onto that front now as i say you could decorate the front of this one if you wish i just found it a little bit easier to have this piece just to add on mm. and again because we've die cut them you know that that's going to line up there perfectly on the front okay give that a second or two for that glue to grab okay that's so pretty and then the little lock here i'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue on the back of there and we're going to pop that one just under the edge here as if we've got a lock and then i've got the tie this one's again just out of the uh, the stash at home little tiny bit of ribbon there <coughs> so this is the only thing that i've added apart from the the paper and the card and just hold that one in place a second on there but you can see how you know once you've done the die cutting that's gone together so easy and you've got those gorgeous little Aww. designs that are really really fun to play with they really are and again it's got that little greeting inside be nice to pop like a little gift card on the inside there if you actually um you could actually cut your piece again and cut it in half and just stick the bottom part in here and then you'd have a little tuck spot Cute. if you wanted to um pop a gift card or anything in my little oh, bows just fell lovely off. idea oh Dan, I love it. So Thank that's you. That one. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? And if you want They're to be so able cute, to recreate that and other designs, then you absolutely can. Your details are on screen right now. So as a reminder, this is for your full collection. You're going to be getting absolutely all of them. I will also remind you, if you have just tuned in, hi, oh, it's so nice to see your face. How are you? Don't worry, I can't actually see your face. Uh, that would be really weird. But yeah, that be, people now at home really creeped out. Uh, but yeah, no, it's lovely to sort of have you here virtually with us. It's really nice. Um, just wanted to let you know that today and tomorrow, we have got for you um, your wonderful add and save, basically. Add more, save more. So, long one short, if you buy one item, you're going to save 21%. If you buy two items, and check them out at the same time, mind, you'll save 22%. And then all the way up to, if you get five items, you can save 25% on that transaction when you check it all out together. Find all the T's and C's and all of the fun stuff. Oh, it's a right good read on our face, uh, web website, and you can find out more about it here. It's just on our homepage. So well worth making the most of that because it's today and it ends tomorrow at midnight. So if you would like, maybe you saw the handbag and this is the one that's speaking to you. You want a smaller deal on this. Let me give you the opportunity. Your handbag is available for you here. Saving over 20%, add on that 21% saving if you're getting it by itself. So that's for your handbag design. Um, you have also got the camper van, which is really popular. Mary Renault had a great idea. Taco truck. Yay! <laughs> It's a great one. You could make it any kind of food van, couldn't you? Fish and chips, doner kebab, you know, the good oh, stuff. Nice. Yeah. I love that idea, Mary. So, yes, this one is on your screen. Um, again, platinum price on this, $19.99. What a year. Or $23.96. You've also got the shoes as well for all of those fashion lovers in your home and your family. That is on air for you now. So, again same deal and treat if you want i will just let you know now is the time to check out your baskets because some of our elements including our main launch party item have been really really popular so if you want to check out your baskets we can have a little bit of a stock update soon when we get back and whilst you're checking out the baskets don't forget you can get involved with club inspire it is completely free but it can save you a whole heap of money here's a bit more about it Welcome to Club Inspire. 
the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick Buy. Get yours now. Quick Buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A 3-millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick Buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome back Crafter. How are you getting on? I hope you're having a fabulous day. When's the last time you had a treat? Um, I could say that I had a treat before because I had like a brownie and a blondie squidged together and it properly like coated the mouth and it was delicious. That was a treat. But actually, when is the last time you got a treat delivered to you in a special box? Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe you've gotten yourself something today. Maybe you are thinking about the last time you created a box, maybe using, for example, the Ultimate Pro, right? Makes beautiful boxes simply. But what about the last time you made a show-stopping box. The type of box that holds little treats and trinkets that actually, with even the use of really cool tools like the Pro, you would not be able to recreate. If you haven't done that before, today could be your day to go on an exploration of intricate, layered, almost the type of boxes that when you look at them, People aren't going to believe that you've made them. They're going to think, surely that's created by a machine. I can't even work out how that's done. But you will be able to make them time and time again when you treat yourself to the Treat Box Cut and Die collection. 
So first off, I just want to show you the packaging of these to give you an idea of the types of box. Do you see what I mean now, yeah? <laughs> the types of box we are talking about. You have got some, look at this one here. You have got some incredible box opportunities here where you can make, oh, tiny Toblerone, where you can make really unique and individual boxes that, in my opinion, will never be thrown away. We have got for you everything you need within the packs, including the likes of your outlines, stencils, to give you that final finish and the likes of the um the base dies themselves including all of these wonderful embellishments i have got for you the uh, picnic treat box which is a really lovely intricate one again dependent on the time of year you could use loads of different ones i've also got for you the roll up treat box as well and this literally does that it rolls up um and again it's like the tiny triangles join in the middle this is kind of a revolutionary, mind-boggling expertise level of looking box. But because you've got all the cool and right tools in here, it is genuinely much simpler than you might think. Today, if you want to treat yourself and you want to level up in those special box elements, now is your chance. And you're getting it today for just 89 99 minus 21% because of that offer and you are also getting it um, today if you are platinum for £71.99 or $81.56 including that 21% discount for the Add More Save More. Yeah, add on over to our website to find out more. Um, but yes, we have got real opportunity here. Oh, hey up, I can't forget. You've also got your hook and loops, your hook and eyes, um, which they you can buy them separately which i would strongly suggest because i use these so often on not just boxes but cards as well and and, and special um things you want to keep they are basically you get um double-sided on each side you just peel that off and then you get the hook and eye or the hook and loop that will open and close and reuse and open and close um, if you are familiar with the term velcro the brand velcro this is kind of what you get in here in black and in white so you can make it fit your design 50 of those as well a really special offer here and Jan is the lady with the plan <laughs> because these are wowzer. <laughs> I've right? got so many boxes here. <laughs> I've literally had to lift the whole thing up because oh. I'm there. But what I wanted to do was go through the sort of concept with these. So, first of all, this is the one that we're going to work with first. And this is a little picnic treat box. So, you've got the option to just make a box. Okay. So, the instructions take you through how to pop the box together. And again, look, using that little hook and loop fastener. You've got that Aww. gorgeous little gift box. And that might be as far as you want to go with it to start out with. What we're going to do today, excuse me, <coughs> we're actually going to work with two of them together. And we're going to create that little picnic basket. So this is literally just two of these back to back. And again, you've got that facility there to pop so two lots of little treats in. Mm -hmm. So again, just exactly the same. We start you out with the single box. We work up and we end up with two of them together pop the handle on all the decorative pieces are in there are so many dies in these sets mm. it's worth it just for all the decorative pieces if you like your matting and layering and then taking it from there you can actually take it up with the same box and this one you've got love it the facility <laughs> let me just move these out of the way so Amazing, again each one it? you can see we're still on that same little box that we started with mm -hmm. here Mm -hmm. Yep, but we've just added them in in a different pattern and then there's a template in there as well which allows you to make the base and the lid section so these all fold in and you can see there's a space for each one to make that cube and then your lid secures them together Isn't it all magic? those beautiful decorative pieces are part of the die the flowers being added on as a separate embellishment so that's the first one the first set and then i'm going to go to that rectangular one which is the um it's the it's not um, the prism what's the the, the roll, roll up that's the one thank you yes. Dara, uh, producer johnny so we've got so let me move these out of the way for a second we've got 
that first box on its own and I'm going to do this one later on in the show mm -hmm. so again you make that single box it all opens up nicely you've got room for some nice little treats in there I'm picturing maybe three Ferrero Roches or something like Ooh, that in there gosh. just as a nice little gift and you've got a gorgeous little gift box here if you don't want the extra piece standing up it will fold and you've got that little rectangular box but again you've also got the facility to make the roll-up box which I don't think I've got a sample of in here, but that's the one that I'm going to make later. Oh, great. It is, it's here, yeah. And again, we've got that hook and loop just in the middle there. And when we open this out, can you see how all the little boxes are fastened together? And again, you've got room in each one. So as long as we stick them together right, that's my challenge later, you can see that each one has got... I'm just going to get my pokey tool to lift that out there because they, they, they do get squashed a wee bit when we get them all in the, uh, the packing. Mm. Yeah, so each one's got that little opening and they're all fastened together in a manner that when we actually take it back over and lift it together, you can see how they close and then you've got that little hook and loop there. But again, all that lovely detail, all the things that you can see on there are part of that set. Just adding some paper there. Even these fancy decorative panels, the, 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 the die for that's in there. So that's the roll-up one. And then you've got the prism one, which gives you that gorgeous sort of chocolate bar shape that we all love. All right. So again, got that little hook and loop in there. And you've got means to actually pop a little gift in there. It could be a piece of jewellery. You'd probably fit like a, a, a small scarf or something like that in there, unless you wanted to do some edibles again. So you've got the single box. But this one is a little bit blow your mind, I must admit. I love if I this. take the band off here, you can see we've got all the individual boxes here that make up that prism shape. So this is the prism one. And again, each box is its own little compartment for you to pop treats and things in i'm just thinking it just reminded me with the black and orange my mind d jumped straight to halloween Ooh. how gorgeous would it be with a load of little halloween treats That's in? Cool. and because they're all that same shape these will all fit back together to create that hexagon and then we've just got the band to fit round it which I keeps love everything that. In place. This shape, I think, could be great for um, maybe if you want to do a beauty pack for someone, different coloured lipsticks in it. Lipsticks or face masks, things yeah, like that. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Lip balms. Yep. Oh. So, again, just using one of our sentiment dies there to add that detail in. So, so much scope with these, it really is. You sort of, you're buying a die, but you're getting so many different elements to work with that it's entirely up to you how you pop it together. So, I'm just going to pop those to one side and put that down on the floor so that I don't knock everything flying. And then we're actually going to have a look to start off with, with that little box die. So, this is the picnic treat box, and it comes with the templates if you want to take it further into that one where all the boxes came out of the cube mm. so you've got the single one there you've got the little picnic basket and then you've got that one that comes in with the templates so inside here then we've actually got the metal work and i'm not kidding when i say it's jammed packed full of metal and then we've also got our instruction sheet in there so you've got instructions on how to make the little picnic box and how to make the one that all folds out from the cube and then we've also got in there our stencil pieces. And if I just lay these out, the big one that I opened up from the cube, mm -hmm. you can see how this is going to create the side piece that fits on. And then you're going to cut it four times. And that's where those boxes were stuck to that folded back in. And then this will also make the lid for the box as well. So I'm going to pop that to one side because we're going to work with this square panel. So we're going to go with the little picnic treat box here. So we have to make the box twice. So I've done one already, but I'm just going to show you how to, it's really easy to pop together the hardest part is choosing which of the decoration you're going to use because there are so many elements on here you've got nesting elements you've got those lovely scalloped edge elements you've got these parts that cut into the uh, the card everything's measured out for you so you've got the side panels you've got the top of the box 
gorgeous little heart details. This bit can go on the, the front, on the flap, if you're not tucking it inside. Everything's been thought of for you. Now, as far as the box element's concerned, this will need one of your larger machines. Unless you're going to do it in two pieces, it is possible. Oh, is it possible? No, I think it is a little bit wide looking at that. So I was just going to say you can pop it. No, it is a little bit wide, so you would need to take one of the larger machines. Now, if you haven't got the larger machine and you are interested in these, then there's no reason. This is a fairly straightforward shape for you to just draw around with a pencil and cut out with a pair of scissors. It really is. And then the score lines are fairly straightforward as to where you need to pop those in. So again, you know, depending on where you're at, and as I say, there's so much detail in all the extra pieces of dye but honestly, it's, there's, there's so much to play with. It's like, where shall I start? <laughs> so I'm just going to pass that through the machine and cut that base out. Just show you what that looks like. And it pops all the score lines in and everything so that you know exactly where to fold it. And then we're going to use some of them as glue tabs. And we're going to leave some of them free to just tuck in. So let's pop that one through there. And then I've already die cut some of the extra elements again because, as I say, we want to try and fit as much in as we can. So I'll show you where I've arrived at the little pieces that we're going to use as decoration. Don't worry about that cracking. If you hear that, if you're using a Gemini, it's when you're using an open die. So like a frame die, because this is just an outline, for some reason... It does that in the machine. I don't know why. I don't know the technical side of it, but I've noticed it does uh, It does it with the nesting dies and things like that. It's something to do with it just being an outline. So don't panic. It's not anything wrong. It is just how it works with those open dies. So again, get rid of that bit. And you can see there, we've got the shapings of our box. So let's get rid of the plates out of the way. And this has actually got... All those score lines in so wherever you can see a score line we're literally going to fold this and again just make sure everything's nice and straight and burnish those lines into place so again popping those in we've got the little tab for the closure at the front I've got the other piece here at the back so that's all my horizontal ones and then down the edge we've got a tab the box side and another tab there so again if you turn that one over you can get that burnishing all the way down if you don't have a bone folder could you use something else yep absolutely if you don't have the bone folder we've got them on the website obviously there's two different styles of bone folder but you can use the edge of your scissors you can also use uh, if you've got a scoreboard and a score tool you can use the edge of your score tool so you know whatever you've got handy mm. i just like this shape it's nice and easy to hold and mm. i love that flat you can actually see mine's wearing away yeah gosh i've you used can. it so much you can see where wow. it's actually wearing away i think i'm gonna have to treat myself to a new one <laughs> but i love it just excuse me a second will you because i don't know what something's making my nose run oh quick chase after it, yeah, chase after it. That's it classic it? Sorry about that, folks. No, don't be pleased. So you Thanks. can see there where we've got that detail. Oh, I've just missed the edge. We just need those ones which are going to create the tabs on that bit. So here we go. So you can see when we bring this together now, we've got the sides of our box are going to stick to the tabs. We've got these pieces that are going to fold inside. And then you can either slot this one into the front of your box like so. Or if you want to add decoration to it, this is where those little hook and loop come in to, to tack it to the front there. So two options on how you want to close the box. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to decorate this before I actually pop everything together. So bearing in mind, this is the base. Okay. And then we've got two side panels, two side panels and the lid. So if I bring my die set back in again, you can see here where we've taken some of these panels from so that lovely edge piece there I've gone with some yellow textured card and then inside there you've got a square as well that's got a lovely stitched edge to it and I've made myself the little mat and that fits perfectly on the top of my box there like so and then you've got the equivalent again if you're wanting to use that wavy edge mm. to do the side piece and then the corresponding mat layer and these are going to fit on those sides here. Okay. Mm. 
and then you've got all sorts of other elements in there depending on what you want to do so let's get those stuck together first and I'm just going to do the tape pen just for speed and again just mat and layer those on top and then we can actually get those stuck and I prefer to do this while the box is flat yeah I just think you can get a better stick mm. because obviously you've got that hard surface whereas when you've put it together the box is hollow and it's I don't find it as easy mm. to actually stick together but again it's a personal thing you know I'm not saying don't fasten it together mm. just see what works for you best and okay. again you've got the room there just for that nice little border I love that blue and yellow together very very spring like very springy indeed and then that one's going to go on my box lid if you've got a directional paper just think about the fact that this is the front edge of your box okay. this one doesn't really matter which way it goes mm -hmm. so that one's going to go on there and then I've already done a couple more of the rectangular one Lovely. to go on those other lovely sides there so we'll just get those in place Aisha's messaged in saying I love this box and was thinking of covering it um, converting it sorry into a spirit stick for my granddaughter's cheer squad That's oh wow such a good idea that's a brilliant idea. Can I, I ask that? you, because we don't really have, we do have cheerleading in the UK, it's not as big as it is in America, but is it true, like they say in Bring It On, that if you drop the, the spirit stick, it's bad luck? Ooh, do you know? Yeah, do let us know if you're in America, please. <laughs> so what we're going to do now then, we're going to add some glue to these tabs here. All right. Now, have I stuck these on the right one? I have, yes okay i was just thinking then yeah i've got one side free and i'll explain that in a second so all i'm going to do is pop my tape runner down those little glue tabs and again if you prefer the wet glue or if you prefer your finger lift tape whatever it is that's your thing for sealing them absolutely perfect so again we're just going to like we would make a normal box we're going to line up those corners to make that 90 degree angle give it a little rub and then same on that side so that's going to be the front of the box and then i've got these two to go exactly the same at the back there and then this one to tuck in that side okay and then you can see here the reason we've left these two on is because it helps if you're closing your box like so if you haven't got these on the side it can sometimes be a little bit sort of floppy yeah. as, and you it can see how it's in. sinking into the box mm. and things like that so it's better to have those tabs on the side just as a, an anchor and you can see how nicely that closes together and then we're going to decorate so again if i bring back my set of metal work you can see we've got that lovely little heart there and we've also got the little decorative flower which was the one from inside there oops come away yeah yeah so i'm literally going to pop one on top of the other so again i'm going to bring in that little dotty tape pen there and just try and get some dots on the back of there so that's going to be my decoration on the front of here like so and then i've also got a nice little gem just to stick whoops in the center there just to finish that off okay and then i've also made a second one of those all right and i've got in fact i've got three of those i've got two for the handle and one that's going to go on top of the box now remember i said that it opened at the front here mm -hmm. so i want to make sure that my heart is actually facing the front of the box okay all right so because this has already popped together again i'm just going to use the wet glue rather than the because this will stick a bit easier than the tape runner with it being closed again if you wanted to pop this on while it was still flat okay so i'm going to keep those to one side for a second so i've done that and i've done exactly the same at home and made just how i've done there a little friend so we've got the same here and again just opens up exactly the same way we've got our mats and layers on now i said i hadn't put one on the back and i haven't got one on the back of here because these are the two that are going to stick together now to make that little picnic basket so we've got an opening at one side 
and we've got an opening at the other. So I'm actually going to come back to my construction glue now. The all-purpose glue gives you a really good bond and it dries with that sort of rigidity and we don't want this to fall apart while it's being used. So again, I'm going to pop this all over that back section like so. And then we're literally just going to pop these together. So make sure they're facing the right way and that your openings are on the outside. And then we're literally going to stick these together. Now I'm just going to hold it for a second or two until that glue grabs. If you've got like an elastic band or something, you could actually pop that round while it's drying. Oh, yeah. But I just want to make sure that that glue's grabbed. I okay. love the idea of this maybe as like a dolly picnic basket or a teddy bear picnic How basket. Cute. If you're having a teddy bear's picnic, a teddy oh bear's my picnic goodness. With a real and it's just basket. the right kind of size to fit like a little bunny or something yeah, like that. Yeah, definitely. And then what I've done is I've taken a piece of um, A4 cardstock. This is the width of our A4 cardstock, which is the eight and a quarter inches. And I've cut it at three quarters of an inch and just added um, a piece of ribbon to match my decor. And I'm just going to grab my other bone folder. It's a wee bit longer, this one. And what I want to do is just create a curl in this to make the handle so from either side I'm just holding this and running it underneath a little bit like you used to curl the ribbon uh, when you've got sort of presence of the curly ribbon you used to put your scissors underneath it and it all used to go and curl out nicely yeah. so this one I don't need so much curl but I just want it to be arched because we're going to pop this round the sides like so all right so again because that's going to actually do some work in lifting the box I'm just going to pop a little bit of red line tape across the bottom edge of that, ready to stick that on. And then I'm going to use those two hearts that we had left to add a bit of decoration along the side of the box there. So that's number one. That one's number two. We can take the liner off those and then literally this is going to go on the side here and I'm just going to bring it sort of about a third of the way down and just sort of look that I've got it equal at each side and then the same at this side about a third of the way down again and then pop that one in place <coughs> and then just to hide all the workings mm. we're going to bring those Sweet. in on the side so again flipping through the glues again you know we've used the tape runner mm. we use the all-purpose glue where it had a purpose now we're back to that wet glue again so mm. literally using the one that does the job best for you so again this is going to cover up all those sort of workings just give it a second for that tacky glue to grab Whilst that's grabbing, Dieta did actually have a question about glue. Um, the all-purpose glue, I think you're talking about, it says, does that glue wrinkle your cardstock? No, it's the white PVA glue that will wrinkle, all right? So the tacky glue is PVA, which is water-based. And what happens when you use it on your paper, the fibres will soak up that water content, and that's what does the wrinkling. And it is really, really hard to get that back out once it's happened. I even tried running it through my Gemini and all it did was just press folds into the card. Mm. Now the all-purpose glue doesn't have any water content, it's a solvent-based glue. So there is a slight um, aroma to it. It's not, I don't find it offensive. No, um, it's not awful, but um, it does the job. Because it's not got the water content in there, you'll not get any ruttling whatsoever with your card stocks and papers. All right, so again, we've got that there. And then just to finish off, I've got a little tiny bit of ribbon and I've just stamped out, sending lots of love. We're going to pop the ribbon through and then we're just going to tie this round to create that little greeting there. But I just think they are so, so cute. And this is just one of many that you can make with that design. So I'm just going to tie it in a knot because my fingers don't work. My, my hands are too big to work with little ribbon and, and bows. You can see I'm having trouble just tying it in a knot look. And then we'll trim those edges. And you can see there we've got the most gorgeous little gift. 
and you've got those opening sections at each side there. I just think it's so cool. It really is. It. And you know, it didn't take that long. I'd got a few bits cut beforehand. But again, whatever colour scheme you fancy, you know, your base could be the craft card, could be the black matte card. I would go with something reasonably strong to make the boxes with. As far as decoration is concerned, there, no, the sky's the limit. Absolutely. Whatever you've got in your, you know, think about all those paper pads you've got, all that textured card stock, it may be some of the new card pads that we've got out. Just go for it. Yeah, I so that's the little picnic treat box one. Love it. And that is just one of Just the one variation. Totally, that you can create from this collection. It is mega massive, whoa. And if you have just tuned in, like Jeffrey, who says, very good evening, Jan and Becky, and social superstar. Good evening, Jeffrey. I hope you've had a good day. Um, sum it up in three words, if you can, Jeffrey. No swears, obviously. <laughs> um, we have got in this collection oodles. So we had for you the hook and eye um, that will help closures double sided for your tape. You can use those 50, they're available by themselves. We also had the sections here which you can use to create them more let's say intricate boxes and then you have all of the dies that help you actually make the main boxes and just so many embellishments i was looking at this one and thinking it's going to cut out all of those lovely hearts be great for those shake cards we made earlier on um, and then you've also got this design as well so again massive amount in here if you have just tuned in like jeffrey you may or may not know that today we have got for you the add more save more and what that means is if you add one thing to your basket and check it out in one transaction you're going to get 21 percent saving but if you check out two things at once, you get 22% off, all the way up to five items, giving you 25% off. So long one short, all your prices on screen today that say like £30 or $50 just there, ignore it. Take off a minimum of 21% and it all does it for you at checkout. Find out more on our website. If you, like um, a lot of us, have been feeling this colder weather, so you sit in and you craft, you may well have been going through some of your essentials, including Cinchira Pearl. If you have and you love it, now is definitely a great time to grab it. Just for anyone who's brand new who's not seen these before, this is your Cinchira Pearl. This is your deep purple. You are going to be getting 10 sheets in each. And just to show you, I've taken one piece out of the cellophane because I think it looks so much better in real life. So you're getting your white on the back there and then you get what Centura Pearl is known for, this majestic luminosity of pearl essence. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll run through the colours you're getting, but just remember, they look all right in the cellophane. They look a load better out of it. So I've got for you your deep purple. Would be a good band name. I've got for you your Christmas green. We've got turquoise. I've got cherry. We have lilac. I've got your royal blue. Your fuchsia. I have in here your lavender, which, by the way, would be gorgeous with the new 12 by 12 that is available by itself if you want it. Um, I've also got your mint green, your baby blue also. So these are the ones that you can get your hands on today, saving over 20%. But of course, if you buy this, and that's the only thing you get today, you're getting an extra 21%. Again, find out more on the website. If you would like a collection of some of Sarah's favourite items from Sarah's Signature. This is a 24-hour deal out of this world. And it truly is out of this world. We are giving to you absolutely oodles in here, including elements from Letters from the Heart, Caring Thoughts, um, Vintage Diary, and rose gold collections you have got loads in there lots of consumables including dyes and textures and all of the rest of it you are saving nearly 107 pounds no scrap it with the 21 percent discount you will be saving over £107 and you'll be saving over 133 dollars it is 
nothing in comparison to the price it should be today so this really that may as well say nearly free next to it this is a really special opportunity so if you have uh, you want to stock up on any of these then do feel free to grab it and i'll be totally honest with you at that kind of price you might look at it and go i like it bex but i've already got this die and this embossing folder that could be a great gift for a crafty friend have you ever heard of the internet you can sell things on there um it, it's worth a thought because that discount is just exceptional if you like the other elements in it so worth a thought so do seize your moment on that out of this world uh, out of this world deal today I will just let you know that we have got the wonderful Jan crafting up a storm with us more today. We're only halfway through our fabulous show and we have got so much more to show you, including voting for some demos of the shows, demos of the day and some sneaky previews as well. If you've got anything in your basket and you're making the most of that, add more, save more. I'm going to give you a couple of moments to check it out. We'll be back with you in a few We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. Quick buy, get yours now. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome home. Home? Yeah, welcome home. Sure. 
come on our home's your home not that any of us live here um but yeah welcome back to the lovely crafters tv it's lovely to be with you today if you've just tuned in hi i'm becky we've got the wonderful jam with us we've got johnny in producing we've got charlotte directing and we've now got susie taking over from socials we have had such a fabulous day of it we've been shaking up a storm with like three totally different techniques on how to make shaker cards and in this show it has been all about our launch party of these incredible intricate beauties this has to be one of our more intricate dies right because they are incredible i am well aware of one thing you may not be able to see with these just because they're so incredibly intricate is that around each and every one of these petals that you're seeing here um you are getting sort of like how many is it seven little pinprick dies cut out from this every single one of them that is how intricate this is. I counted number four and there was over a thousand holes that this die cut out in one pass of a die machine. These ones are your wonderful brodere, um, uh, which is uh, sort of embroidery um, in obviously French, uh, anglaise. So what you've got here is this wonderful pattern that cuts out like you might see in linen of summertime. I'm not just bringing you this design, which is your Calais. I'm also bringing you your Chantilly as well, which has got a real different feel, but equally beautiful and um, relatively intricate as well. Nice for paper piecing. And I'm not stopping there. I've got for you some new cardstock. So this one's your 12 by 12 and you've got complementary colours. So I'm going to bring you your patent design and I'm going to bring you your pearlescent design. That, when you just look at them from sort of when you sat at home as you are now, um, it might well look like the same sort of design or colour. But this one here has got a lovely pattern to it. It's like a textured design. And this one here has got a wonderful pearlescence to it. So that although the colour is beautifully muted and um, mimicked, it has a totally different feel to it. So if you do like to do those cards that kind of surprise you, then this is the one for you. Not stopping there. It's your brand new pastels that I have for you too, which again, just to let you know, we're talking same sort of situation. So you're going to get these wonderful, I know that it isn't quite sort of a Neapolitan colouring, but it's not a million miles off. It's those baby colours, those pastel colours, it's those spring colours, it's those um, kind of sweet shop colours. You're getting textured in some designs and then mimicking, but in a per lesson, you're going to get the different hues. That includes the likes of your pinks, your purples, your teals, and your yellows. So a lovely selection there. All of your details are on screen. Remember though, that price that you've got in the white, minus 21% of it already, because we've got add more, save more. Head on to our website to find out more. So we want more creativity, more inspiration, and I've got the lovely lady for you. What have you got there, Jan? I'm just going to run through those samples again for the benefit of anybody that's joined us sort of during the show. We did show these at the beginning, uh, but just to give you an idea of how you can use these gorgeous dyes. So really, really pretty background dyes there. It can be the focal point of your card, but you can see how we've teamed it up there. Gorgeous little mousy here. This is one of the on the edge dyes. So things that you've got, as I say, in your stash, you've got that lovely sentiment there. It's a girl. And then that beautiful Broadway Anglais work in the background with those nice spring colours. So whether you want to use your inks on them, whether you want to cut them out of speciality cardstock, whether you want to use the darker colours. And again, when I bring this one in, same dye, very, very different look. Okay, so we've used the black card on this one, brought the gilding wax in, and you can see how that's much more, I think maybe a bit more masculine looking that one, mm. just with the darker colours. Mm. <coughs> I'm just envisioning it probably look really nice in navy as well. I'm, I'm using mm. a lot of navy cardstock at the minute. I really like it. Mm. So that's the darker one. And then again, making it much more sort of vintage looking. That's just by using different coloured inks. Again, we've put that acetate panel in there and just added some little embellishments so that one was um yeah 
Calais. The Calais design, Calais, yeah. the first one. Yeah. And, and then, then we've got Chantilly on the second one. Are we going to count the gaps again, Becky, on this one? I'm going to use this one in my demo next. Oh, are you? Well, yeah, yeah possibly. So again, <laughs> just using those inks there again, really, really pretty design. It doesn't need a lot more than that. Like we said, with a little bit of sentiment, bit of decoration and your cards finished. Again, mixing and matching it with things that you've already got. So we've got that broad rayon glaze in the background, but look at that gorgeous uh, floral silhouette butterfly there. Great. Just mixed and matched with a little bit of holographic card there. Really pretty. And again, going more down that vintage line, just inking them up little bits of torn edge paper there and the wax seal again lend themselves to that sort of really um, oldie worldy look with those uh, torn edges so we're going to use this one we're going to use the uh, the chantilly this time because we did the other one at the top of the show so again when we get this one out same again five by seven inches so you've got seven inches this way by five really good focal point for your card itself so let me just get this one off the uh, the tape there come away and then we're going to pop this through the uh, the Gemini again let it do its work so this time I've got a piece of craft card that we're going to work on so the craft card is a little bit more fibrous and I was saying earlier that I always try the dice first without a metal shim and then if you find that you've got a little bit of an area that's a bit stubborn you can always take out your magnetic shim pop your metal one in and just pass it through for a second time but again I'm going to do exactly that I'm going to try it without first you saw how that one cut if you were watching earlier mm. the craft card is a little bit more fibrous so we'll see how it goes and I've just tilted it slightly within the parameters of my plates there and what that means is as the roller comes along it's going to hit the corner of the die before it hits the rest of it so you don't have that sort of clunking mm. as it comes on and off the edge of the die so if you've got room within your project to just tip it that little bit it does sort of help it on its way and then we're going to pop our shims in pop the other plate on and then we'll get that passed through and see how that cut takes place like i say you can always re-add the metal shim if you've got areas that are a wee bit stubborn I have high hopes for it. Looking at how that one fell out earlier, it was slightly thinner cardstock and it was pearlescent cardstock, but I know what the Gemini is capable of doing. Mm. So just to have a little sneak peek before you take everything apart, if you just, yeah, again, I'm not got any concerns there. Oh, wow. Absolutely. It looks as if there's some areas there that aren't cut, but they are. So again, let's just get rid of all those little pieces. And we're going to take the outside layer off, which is scrap. And I was just going to say release it from the die, but you can see, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just going to put those to one side and I'll sort all those pieces out in a second. And again, you know, the best bit of kit for that, I think, if I just reach over this side, is probably going to be that die brush. Just to rub it over the top and that will dislodge any of those pieces and that is craft card 300 gsm craft card that that's gone through every single piece there so it doesn't need the add the additional shim in there if there's any last little piece there's always that one that thinks it can hang on to every time you look you think yes i've got them all i've got look there it is <laughs> just hiding in there and then we'll get rid of all those pieces off to one side so again absolutely stunning let me just show you over that black oh it's great absolutely wow. beautiful it reminds me of an old um, my mum used to have a lot of uh, she used to do a lot of embroidery when she was younger mm. and she used to have a lot of lace tablecloths Lovely. and it just reminds me of the patterns that she used to have on the tablecloths when we were younger beautiful we only ever got them out at the weekend though because they were special mm, so it had yeah. to be a weekend when we got them out and popped them on the table but yeah beautiful you know you've got those circular designs in there you've got the floral designs in there i'm going to pop some uh, um, embellishments again in the center of those just to highlight them Lovely. so what I've done I've done similar to what I did earlier and I've cut it again out of that black cardstock and this time we're just going to create a little drop shadow with it so I'm going to pop the glue dots on the back of the uh, craft card one so again just nice and light all the way and as long as you don't press on too hard yeah. there's none of those 
going through onto my, my glass mat there. Mm. So again, just make sure, and I can see in the light that those dots are actually sticking there to the cardstock. And then what I like to do is just hover over the top. It's all symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which way up you've got it. Hover over the top, and then I come down and to the right, just a fraction. And it's just enough to create that little bit of a shadow. So again, if I show it you on the back of the white now, you can see that Great. black. And it just gives it that element of 3D look there, just mm. uh, slightly different. Now, you could add some gilding wax to this if you wish, uh, you know, if you wanted to sort of bring out that detail in it. In fact, shall we do a little bit of... Uh, we've not had the gilding wax out tonight, have we? Let's pop a little bit on there. Oh, gorgeous, yeah. I we're... do particularly like... This one's king gold, and you can see it's my favourite. I've actually, I can see... <laughs> you can see the bottom. I bones. have had this since these first came out. This is my first pot. It's my favourite colour, and I can just, in the bottom there, see the bottom of the jar. Yeah. And that's how long it's lasted. So again, oh, I'm just going to take okay. some out. We have got then, some gilding wax on your screen now, if you want it. Buy one, get one half price. Again, as if you're trying to get rid of it, and then just... Nice and light. You can always go back and add some more to it. But if you go into the pot and straight onto here, you're literally going to get a fingerprint on there. Mm -hmm. So again, it's just a light touch. It doesn't need to be a lot. It'll just catch the light when we lift it. So again, just rubbing it over the top and it'll add that little bit of a shimmer, depending on what kind of finished look you want on your card. So again just because we can. Mm, yeah. As a reminder on these as well, it is buy one, get one half price, but then save 21%. If this is the only thing you buy today, then saving 21%. But we have got add more, save more on today, which means when you add and check out at the same time up to five items, you can save up to 25% on that purchase. No code necessary, it just does it at checkout. Find out more on our homepage of our website, it's add more, save more, uh, but well worth doing if you need to stock up on these. So I'm just going to get rid of that spare. It always worries me what's in baby wipes when it lifts that off so quick. That's a good point. You know, it's wax. And yet you put the baby wipe on it and it just seems to emulsify it. And I just think, hmm, what's in there? <laughs> right, Read so that's got that cleaned up out of there. Just make sure we're all nice and clean. And then if I tilt that into the light there, you can just, it's not a lot, but you oh, can just no, see how gorgeous. you've got that nice, subtle yeah. shimmer there from what was very sort of... The, the, the craft car, although I love it, it can be a bit dull looking sometimes. Mm. So just to lighten it up, <coughs> and then I'm going to take my soft cloth and just give it a buff, which will bring up that shimmer even more. So once it doesn't take minutes at all to dry. It's practically dry as soon as you've put it on there. Mm. But if you give it a buff it'll bring up that sort of shimmer even more so. Mm. So again, if we pop it again into the light now, can you just look, look at that? Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Absolutely stunning. So that's going to be the main focal point of the card again. So just to bring in some mats and layers, and we're going to create like a um, reverse easel card. So my card is six by eight and a quarter. And I've scored it halfway, and then I've scored that front panel in half to fold it back like so. And this is actually going to be, rather than a, a normal easel card where we'd normally fold it over, we're going to have it this way instead. So what I've done is I've just created a couple of mats and layers using some paper from that gorgeous um, autumn morning paper pad. And again, I'm going to bring in that double-sided tape runner this time for these sticking together. If I was using wet glue, I would go with that Kalal All Purpose because we said cardstock to cardstock, paper to cardstock. That was your best one to use. Okay. And I'm actually going to bring that one in now to stick this to the card base. Again, because that craft card's quite fibrous, this is going to soak in and give me a really good finish on there. 
So again, all purpose, solvent base, no wrinkling whatsoever with that one. And again, that's going to stick in the base there to give us some detail at the bottom. And then I've got a coordinating piece that we're going to pop towards the top. So again, I'm just going to pop the double-sided one on the, on the paper layer and then we'll use that all-purpose to stick it on to the card base. We used black in the background just to pick up what we've done with that die because we've got that black drop shadow. So I've matted and layered just onto some of our matte black card there. And again, swapping to that wet glue just to get the best sort of performance out of the, uh, the job that we're doing. And that one's going to stick on that top section. You can, you can decorate this one as, as if you wish. I've actually left the middle section blank. Okay. And then we're actually going to pop this one on here to create that kind of reverse easel. Mm, yeah? Mm, yeah. And as always, with an easel, we're going to need a stopper as well. So all I've done is just created a little element here. Use the same card stocks, black card, craft card, and I've just used a portion of that die here and just trimmed it yeah. to go on the top. Just ah, to add that clever. little bit of interest there. Looks embossed. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then have a beautiful birthday. Little bit of twine on there and we've got that um, foam pad underneath there. So I'm going to put that one at this side like so and that's going to act then once we've got this one stuck in place that's going to act as my stopper so I just want to put my glue on the top section of this and again I'm going to go back to those glue dots this is exactly the same tape that's in your double sided tape pen it's just in dot format so you've still got the strength of it there. And just because we're going onto that craft card again, I'm just going to give it something to grab hold of. So just every so often, where we've got a little bit of a, 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 a space there, I'm just going to pop some of the wet glue down. And then this one's going to stick in the centre there, just on that top section, and make sure that one's stuck down nice. Okay, and then on the front of there, I've just stamped out a nice little sentiment. It says lots of love, and I've got some foam on the back of that one. And again, because we're working onto that gilding wax, that little bit of insurance there, and we're going to pop that one across the bottom there, like so. And then I've actually got one... Let's not stick it to the underneath, Jan. Two, three, four, five, six. And we're just going to pop some little gems in there again to actually bring that black into play. So one. Come on, don't stick together now. <laughs> I need you. There we go. <laughs> two and you just just sort of highlights those flowers it just adds another point of interest there three and then another three across the top and then just i've got one more embellishment which is just not part of the uh the broderie anglaise obviously it's just an embellishment i've stamped out a butterfly and we're going to pop that on so that's my little gems on there and then I've just got again I've used those lovely colouring pencils oh, wow. just to add similar colours to what I've got in there mm. and we're just going to take that one off and because I've got my sentiment down at this side here we're going to offset it just give that a little bit of shape and we're going to pop that one right up at the top so again when this one goes together now if I spin this round that's going to slot behind here oh. And you can just see how we've got that lovely sort of Broadway on Grace panel doing all the speaking. It's got that drop shadow behind it. And then you've got your sentiments along the bottom. And then that lots of love. Nice and simple. And let the craft card, I, I, I absolutely adore craft card. Mm. 
I just think it's got a real sort of uh, unique look to it. So yeah, that one was the Chantilly one of the Brodery Anglaise collection. It is beautiful. Jan, thank you so much. If you would like to create that look with the Brodery Anglaise, you have the chance to do so right now. These are your two different designs, remember. And actually, um, quite a few people are messaging in about these. Lovely Rosalind, uh, was it Rosalind? No, it was uh, Panda saying, it looks like a piece of laser cut leather. You're completely right. Um, we've got uh, uh, Shad, um, Shadia isn't saying, this particular dye reminds me of a dining room tablecloth my mum used to have. You're totally right, absolutely. I was thinking it'd be quite cool to use in maybe some of your... Um, stand up you know the like dress cards that we do and the one on the three panels because it would look like wedding lace wouldn't it there's yeah. so much you can do with these what about uh, i'm just thinking what? white cards sprayed with the spray and sparkle oh. just to get some sort of or the pearl diamond one oh would look yeah gorgeous oh wouldn't it? stunning if you do want these you don't just get the wonderful intricate dies you're also getting these new uh, for uh, sorry 12 by 12 paper pads so you're getting card pads this one you're getting is the pastels and you're getting your neutrals as well all of that today discounted including an extra minimum of 21 percent saving that you can get today head on over to our website if you want to find out more about the add more save more so that is your treat for now we've got more demos coming up and i've got something for all of you explorers i have an explorer kit and in this, we're going to be exploring the benefits and the uses of the likes of our cut and emboss elements. So what you have here, you're going to run your folder through your uh, die cutting machine. We, of course, use a Gemini here, but so long as you've got a machine that is large enough, you can be using this on many different types of machine. In this one, you can see it cuts out this lovely panel and it gives the um, embossed detail to this, this design here. This one, we have got the wonderful open windows that all of this run in through does for you. And we've got the brickwork. I've then got our sunshine detail as well. Again, all done by this bit of kit to create a stunning look. If you fancy grabbing those three, perfect, because that's all you're paying for. For free, you're going to get yourself a wonderful roller tool that helps you get a nice even coverage of colour. I'm even bringing to you certain colours for you as well. We know how much we love our wonderful water reactive um, colours. You're getting fuchsia, grasshopper and you're getting your green topaz. You've also got some blending brushes as well to help you spread the lights of those colours around more. So again, that's free, that's free, they're free. All you have to pay for today is these and actually you pay for these but you're getting 21% off it as well as the minimum. So well worth treating yourself. If you would like to create some standout cards, we've definitely had a treat for you on today with our um, card cut bases. These are really cool. Imagine cutting out a design that's pretty intricate, and if you were to cut it out with scissors, it would by no means be impossible, but it would be a bit fiddly and hard to layer up. Imagine we've made that really easy for you. And now imagine that we've given you different elements that you can jigsaw together to make totally different themes. That is what we've got. Here, this is your shaped card base collection. And as you can see on this design here, we have got your handbag design. So you could make this into a handbag, a briefcase, a, uh, you know, laptop bag. Uh, you could make it into anything really you set your mind to. You get the stamps included. I've then got our camper van or motorhome here. But we were saying it could be an ice cream van. It could be an ambulance um, for maybe uh, people who work the NHS, etc. Um, it could be a taco van, fish and chip van. Could be anything really. And then I've also got our high heels. And again, you have got lots of sentiments here, including wonderful embellishments. Big discount on this one again. And remember, even if your platinum price, take that price you're seeing there and take away another 21% if this is the only thing you're checking out today because that is your deal with our um, add more, save more, which don't forget, find out more on the homepage of our website ends tomorrow evening. So should we have a little bit more of an in-depth look at these? Come on then, let's head over to Jan. 
Oh, I'll be waiting for this one. I love this <laughs> one. Uh, we're going to use that little camper van, all right? So again, you've got some inspiration on the front of here, busy camping, and then you've got your stamp set with all those lovely sort of added embellishments and the sentiments to go with it that are all based around it. So a crowded camper is better than an empty castle. Oh! You don't have to be shit. crazy to camp with us. We can train you. <laughs> and then we've got adventure awaits. Let's let uh, life needs more starry nights and crackling fires, oh. and life rocks when your living room rolls. I just think they're really, really fun sentiments in that's there. That's so cute. So that's the actual stamp set there. Um, we're going to use one of those onto the straight onto the the piece when we've die cut, and then this is actually the van itself with the the metalwork. And again, so many different pieces in here. So we're going to start out with the actual van itself here. So you've got the outline of the camper, and we're going to pop this one on here. And then I'm also going to cut into here some of the um, the doors and windows that you get with it. So we may as well do all this in one pass. So again, pop that one down. And then on here, you've got a selection of things to work with. So we're actually going to take out the, um, the little one here. All right. In fact, I'm going to do that one in a second. And then you've got, for example, we've got the doorway. We're going to need to cut the door in here. And this has got... If you just check out the die, it's got a die cutting edge round three sides, but then it's just got the score line. So depending on which way you want the door to open, we're going to pop the score line to the right. So I've got my score line here so that the door opens this way. But if you want to open it the other way, you just pop it the other way up there. Mm. So we've got the door going on there. Then we're going to take the windows. We've got one, two, and then this long one here so again i'm just following the design that's on here so we've got that large window in the back we've got this one okay oops we're going to pop the little narrow one inside the door and then we've got the long one is going to go above here so when we get these spaced out and get them in the right place we may as well cut these while we're passing it all through the die cutting machine so again doorway we're just going to have on here and then i'm going to pop that little window in the top of the door so that's that one and then i've also got the back window and the side window we'll have them all level like so and we'll tape those down and then we've got that long one just above the top there. Now I do want to pop one into here. But I'm also going to use, and I've already die cut this piece, just to give some colour to it. This is actually the front of the van. All right, so I just need to move mine along a little bit. I think once we've die cut, we should be okay. Um... I'll just die cut those first and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with that second piece. So again, just pop these on my plate. This will fit through your junior again. All right, pop the shims in and we're going to cut those elements out. And then there's so many little bits to play with. You get all the curtains and the blind elements. As I say, you get the wheel parts to put together. You can see here we've got the, um, the bit that goes over the wheel for the trim. You've got uh, the wheel elements here. You can see the little curtain elements, little blind. So many different bits and pieces in there for you to play with. And again, each time you make this, depending on the colour scheme that you use, it's going to look different each time. So I'll just leave those out for a second because we're going to need to pass that through again. So let's take these out. And we've got our windows and doors in the place we want there. And then we've got our external piece to come out as well. So you can see we've got the makings of our, uh, our van going on there. And then that piece that I've got here is to actually cut out the front section. And I've done that in blue here. And this one's going to fit on the front. And then once I've got that in place, I can then think about cutting 
the window in there. So I'm just going to stick this one down and I'm just going to use a little bit of the, uh, the double-sided tape to pop that in place. Make sure there's plenty on because we're going to cut that gap in there. And this bit's just going to sit level with the front edge of the van there. Okay, it just fits to the edge of the doorway there. And once that's in place, we can then add that window for the front of the cab, like so. And then I'm just going to whip that through again, just to pop that in place. And then I've got lots of little pieces cut again, which I'll show you the dies that we've got them from just to show you how that works. But again, it's just a case of working your way through, having a little bit of fun with it, deciding what colour scheme and what papers you're going to use. And it really does make a fun element. Now, this can be a shaped card, which is what the concept was designed as. It could be a piece on the front of a card or even a scrapbook page. If you have a camper van and you've got lots of sort of holiday photos, you might want to actually pop it and dress it up to match yours. We're actually going to use it to make um, a gift box. We're going to pop two sides of the van and trap a little gift box in between. So again, you can see there we've got that piece now. And we've got the beginnings of the van. Great. So what I've done is I've cut that again in the white and I've cut it out of some pattern paper there as well. So this is going to be the back, this is going to be the front and we're going to have a little box in between there. Ooh. I've also cut it in pale blue to pop behind here to fill some of the spaces in. But we're going to do a little bit of decorating in here before we pop that blue panel on. So this one can go, we can stick this one down. So again, I'm just going to use that double-sided tape all across the back there. And again, because they've been done with the die, you know that those are going to fit and cover that one perfectly. So this one's going to go straight over the top. And we're going to put that to one side for the back piece. And then before I actually stick this one down, I've used my die set again and I've created some of the pieces. So this cuts like the little blind here and we're going to have that behind the window at the front. And then I've also taken some and put them through my sticky machine there. Okay, so we're going to have one of these behind the door frame here. And then we've got the curtains to go behind the window. And then this little guy here is the light at the front. Oh, clever. <laughs> and even the little door handle as well. Oh. All right, so let's just have a think about the order that I want to do this in because I've got some other bits and pieces that I want to attach as well. So we're going to go with, I've just cut a couple of strips of the pattern paper and we're actually going to pop these along the edge like so. All right, so I'm just going to run a little piece of, take that one out for a second. Again, use my mat there to line that up. And I'm just going to run a line of glue across here. Oops, a little bit wobbly. And we're going to add that one. And these have all been done. You can see here we've got even those. I mean, it's just a thin sliver of paper, but we've still got the dies Great. to cut that with. So all that work, you don't have to worry about how am I going to cut a piece that's this thin. Mm. And then when it gets to the edge of the door, I'm just going to trim that one because obviously we want the door to open. So just from the back there, trim that one off. And then I'm going to carry on with this bit across the front of the cab there line it up as if it's all one piece okay but we've actually got the door to open and then i'm going to do the same but we're just going to bring this one to the edge of the door so i'm going to take it this way and again this you know it's all personal choice this it's, it's just your own design I'm just using the, um, the one on the front of the packaging for a little bit of inspiration as to where to pop all the pieces there. 
Okay, it would have been there. They're not quite straight, those, even though I use my grid lines, it does look a bit wobbly there. And then again on the bottom, whoops, she said, excuse me. Oh, this one's actually just going to fit around those wheel arches. So I'm just going to run a tiny be bead of glue again across the bottom here, all the way to the edge, and then round that curved part on this side. And again, I don't want it to all squidge out, so I'm just going to take off some of the excess there. And then this one's going to fit nicely. And you can just see again, it's, you know, all the work's been done because all the patterning, all the shapes, all fit nicely in place. And you can just see how that fits together. And then we've got our little light there. So this is the headlight that's mm -hmm. going to fit at the front here okay and then again in your kit here you have got the round circle to cut out the way part of the wheel and then you can cut the extra elements so we've got a smaller circle and we've got the little tiny um, like the, the the hub cap that goes on so again we're just going to pop those together so again little tiny bit make sure you can see what we're doing there and I'm just going to pop that in the centre and then I'm going to do the same little tiny bit of wet glue. And again, get rid of the excess there and this one's going to go on here. Perfect. And then I've done that twice to get my wheels there. So again, these can go now over the top of the, uh, the main card piece there. You can see it coming together now, it's just Definitely. real good fun. We've had so many lovely ideas. Joanne's saying it would make a cute ice cream truck for a yep. summer birthday, which I absolutely love. Um, I think ice cream trucks are hilarious because it's the only time that children get excited about hearing green sleeves, isn't it? But anyway, um, we've also got um, Lil G in. I hope that's how I've said it. Probably I've said it incorrectly. He said it would look good as a flower power style for us oh, 60s wouldn't it? girls. Yeah, the retro yeah. feel to it. Absolutely. Who's There's that? a little peace symbol on the front. Yeah. yeah. Who's this? Uh, the, oh, what's his name? Fella. Um... They go around, oh, if it wasn't for you pesky kids. It's like the Scooby-Doo van. You can oh, do that, <laughs> couldn't you? Yeah, couldn't yeah, you? Absolutely. What was that called? So what Mystery else have we got? Something. We're going to put, um, so this is going to stick onto here now. So what I'm going to do is just pop my curtains in position on there. So that when we pop this over the top, we've got those little curtains in place. It just wants to go a little bit to that side. That's the one. And then again, we've got the other side, just cut from some pieces of scrap paper. So that one's going to go on that side. And then this piece is going to go in the top of the window on the door here. So again, just line it up and decide whereabouts you want to pop it. And this one's going to go about there. You'll have a lot more time when you're doing this at home instead of second guessing yourself. You see that's coming together now. Yeah. And then the last little bit on here, just the attention to detail. Yeah. Is you've just got that little door handle as well. So that's the chrome work there on the door handle. All right, so now we've got all the pieces in place. We can actually stick this one together now, but just remembering that you want to keep that doorway free of any glue. So again, I'm just going to go around here and miss out the door mm -hmm. with my tape runner. Just add that glue on. Make sure we've got enough to stick it together and then line it up and stick it over the top. So this is the bulk of the actual camper van. And then what I've done, this, this is my own template. It's not actually part of the, um, the camper van design. So I've just done a little template to show you guys here. Piece of seven and a half by five inch card. And I've done the dimensions for the scoring. And then on one of the pieces, we've cut away some of the elements at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is make a little box with this now, a little open box. So I've done my scoring, and we're actually going to fit the glue tabs 
on here to make that piece all one, like so. And then when we do the second one here, we can just fold that one over and this is going to fit on here. And then I need glue on those other tabs. And this is just going to make a nice little box to fit. And we're just going to put one of the pieces of the van on either side. So again, I'm just going to line that up for the base. Just pop in my bone folder there to make sure that that's all stuck down. And then we're literally going to pop this on the front, like so, and this one on the back, so that you've got the camper van, but you've got room inside there to actually create some, uh, some sort of little goodies again, you know, whatever it is you fancy. So again, because this is actually hollow, I'm going to go with the wet glue instead of trying to get the... Um, tape runner on there so again I'm going to line up the base of the van here with the bottom of the box so that we've got that as the base and then again it just takes a second or two for that to grab and then we're going to do the same on this side so again it's just a fun little way of using the dies and again I'm going to pop if you want to decorate the other side of it you can um, I'm going to do it this way so that you can see some of that patterned paper. And again, I'm just eyeballing the one underneath to try and get them lined up the best that I can there. And just let, just let the glue dry. As I say, you'd have more time at home to work with this, but you can see the idea behind it there, where you've got that lovely little Aww. design. You've got your camper van, and then you've got room in there just to add some little goodies, whatever it is. That you want him to do so they are so so sweet really oh, I forgot cute. my stamping I was going to do a little bit of stamping on the top there I bring the one in that I'd done at home you can see I'd just use the stamps to do the adventure oh. awaits and then there's a gorgeous little um, string of lights as yeah. well on the corner there oh. so pretty much the same I've just I've got all I got that so carried away with it I forgot to get my stamp sets and uh, get the stamping done so other than that, that beautiful. we're all good. Dan, we love it. Thank you so much. What type of van do you want to be creating? Feel free to let us know. And uh, let me remind you, we have the opportunity for you to get the full set. We've got bags you can create or purses. I know actually in America isn't purse another word for a handbag. Yeah. Uh, here in the UK, when, when we say purse, we mean like what you'd keep your money in, um, like a smaller version. So you don't have to use the handle. That could be a lovely little purse with your purse top to keep your money in. Maybe um, a nice little way of giving someone pocket money. We've got the van as well. Lovely Susie's and social saying it's the, the, the Scooby-Doo van I was talking about was called the Mystery Machine. Yes, you're right. I think that's a really cool idea. If maybe you were doing a fancy dress theme party, party or you were doing like um maybe halloween party it could be kind of cool and i've also got in here the shoe for you as well with all those lovely embellishments and stamps today discounted and don't forget discounted again because everybody today gets an extra 21 percent off when they check out on one thing or 22 percent off when they check out with two things 23 percent off when they check out with three things and 25% when you check out with five things. So it's well worth treating yourself if there's anything taking your fancy today. And if maybe you've just joined us here at Crafters TV, oh, wonderful to see you. It really is absolutely lovely. How about you add on to our website, go onto the homepage, read more about the add more, save more that I've kind of just briefly explained. You don't need a code or anything. It's just a discount or sort out a checkout. Have a little look over that. Head to our website so you can shop the show. Add some treats that you want. And you can do all that whilst we head into a brief break. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. 
Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafter's Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. Welcome to Crafter's TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a fabulous day so far. There's loads of you just loving Jan and her van. Uh, love the camper van. Jan says Lynn. Mary is saying so adorable, Jan. Dale is saying too cute, Jan. Pammy is saying I love it, Jan. Margaret is saying Jan, the van box was amazing. But all of your makes are stunning. I learned so much. Thank you for the effort you put in for all of us. There's just so many of you at 
absolutely loving and adoring Jan's designs and no surprise there whatsoever. So if you have just tuned in and you're thinking, what have I missed? Don't forget that you can save and subscribe to this and then you can watch this back. And I would suggest watching back on the Shaker Card one too because Jan did three really cool different masterclasses on different ways of doing shakers and toppers and things it's well worth a watch so if you have just tuned in don't worry you can watch us back if you have just tuned in you've tuned in for a sneaky preview Ooh, what are you doing on thursday because if you fancied it we have got a launch day at 2 p.m here in the uk which is 9 a.m eastern time and it is of our easter collection and this is in from one of our sara signatures this easter collection is really lovely you've got lots and lots of different elements within here all individually wrapped and you can make around 12 cards with this collection but of course lots of these elements last I'll show you some of the things you're going to get in here. I've got some envelopes here for you. I've got lots of adornment too. And um, you, these, you may well be wondering what they are. Well, it's Easter, so of course, they're bunny tails. Look at them. Oh, I love it. Um, so you've got little bunny bums here. And you've got all of these stencils you can do and design. You are then getting <clears throat> your cross shape. Of course, perfect for Easter amongst other elements. And we've got all of these dies too. These quite mischievous looking rabbits, actually. They've got a look of them of like... Oh, I stopped looking at my egg. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, they're kind of, oh, I like it. You've got little lammies here. You've got a little chick in his little egg too. Um, and lots of adornments like bunny ears, which would be quite cute. You're also getting paper stock in this too. Really pretty Easter-y colours. And then you're getting some patterned papers too. So plenty in here <clears throat> to keep you entertained. Oh, dafts plenty in here to keep you entertained and even more designs on this one too and we're bringing stamps of course because we always like to bring you stamps it's launching on thursday so if you do fancy it tune in then from two o'clock and um, that's uk time obviously I've also got another Sarah Signature collection to let you know about. This one's launching on Monday, so a bit further off to wait, but nonetheless, well worth the wait because there's plenty in here. This one is for all of you butterfly lovers. It is your vintage butterfly. So in here, we are going to be bringing to you lots of butter butterfly designs, including little sort of a plastic button adornments with butterflies in them, including some lace style effect and um, fabrics bringing to you some flutter by charms lovely papers that you're getting in here real vintage feel to these <clears throat> as you can see double-sided designs as well i've got loads and loads and loads of stamps for you we have got dies that you can layer so those lovely double-sided dies i've got tags for you embossing folders Stamps galore, so not just sentiments, and, um, but also butterflies. Framing designs too, lovely stamp shape ones which have that pop out element which we all love and adore. We've got framing designs, edgeable designs, you're going to like this one, whoa, loads of layering up designs in them <clears throat> and you've got a ginormous stamp that you're going to have fun colouring in. I'm also bringing Tia Centura in there. And um, as I mentioned, these are the different designs, but you get them in the 8x8, but also the 12x12. So you've got that launching on Monday. Again, oodles to get your hands on, so you can treat yourself to this collection if you want to. It's on Monday, <clears throat> so well worth bearing in mind. We have had such a fun and craft-filled show. It is already time to do demo of the show. We have got another demo coming up, but just because of time, because we've got demo of the day to squeeze in as well, we're going to actually do demo of the show now. But if you're thinking, oh, I've missed all the creativity, darn you work. Don't worry, you haven't. We have got another demo coming up. So, Jan, can you give us a reminder of what we've learned to create in this show, please? Right. So, top of the show, then we started with those beautiful 
Rod Rayon glazed dies. So this was the first one that we made using that gorgeous um, Calais, wasn't it, the first one? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we just that. chopped it in half to do the two-tone on that one. So that mm -hmm. was number one. And then we went on to the shape dies and we made the gorgeous little handbag there and popped the message inside. So that was number two. Okay. Number three was those lovely uh, picnic box. All right. So we made the two boxes, stuck them back to back. And then you've got that lovely opportunity to pop some nice little treats in there. So that's number three. Number four, we went back to the Broderie Anglaise and worked with the craft card there. And that was the Chantilly version of the Broderie Anglaise dies. So that's number four. And then number five was that cute little camper van that we made into that open top gift box. So gift in there, a little bit of tissue in the top and just a real bit of fun there. So that was number five. Okay. And we've got another one to come, but the voting begins now. So vote on our social media. You can vote between number one, two, three, four or five, depending on which one is your favourite. And then later on, we will do demo of the day, which you can also vote on. We have had some real treats and one of the treats has been our treat box collection. If you've not seen these yet, oh, they can make super simple boxes like that. Or they can make complex i wonder if that's been made i don't understand is it machine made no it's by a person what boxes like that it's really really cool so if you haven't seen these before let me just show you you get your die um, elements to help you create a singular box in this instance it's like a, a triangular box that you have with a like a lid opening but then there's also a stencil whereby you can make it into a long layer strip that then rolls up perfectly into linking so again simple or quite advanced all in one i've then got this design for you working in a similar way you can create one box or you can layer it out and then the other one which is here whereby you can create one box the picnic box like john did earlier or with the stencil you can create this magical interlinking box in there, of course, as I mentioned, you get all of your stencils. You get your fasteners as well, which are double-sided. You just peel the back off and they'll stick together. And they are resealable, so it's a, like a hook and eye. And then I have got for you all of the embellishments. And there are oodles to create lovely mats and layers, to create confetti designs, to create um, kind of flora and fauna and bird designs. There's loads on there. All of this today with that discount deal, remembering you're getting a minimum of 21% off on top of that with the add and save today. So if you would like to treat yourself to those, get on to it now. Should we have another demo from Jan? Yeah, let's do it. I'm with you, Jan. Right, so we're going to go with that roll-up treat box this time. So at the top of the show, we used the picnic box and we made that gorgeous little uh, two square boxes basically stuck back to back to create that one. This time, we're going to have a go at doing the roll-up one and that actually finishes up in this kind of shape. So if I open you this one just to show you, I've got some different decoration, but you can see where you've got all the boxes there together. And if I just flip it over, each one of these opens up so that you've got space to pop a little goodie in there. So again, bringing it back together, just literally pop them all back. And then we've used that little hook and loop just to pop it onto there. So that's what we're going to have a go at in a different colour way. So I've got my roll-up treat box. All right, we've got that out at the ready. That's my die sheet. All right, I've taken the instructions out. You've got instructions to make this one and to make the little singular box. So the, the, I would have a go at the single one first so that you've got the idea of how the box goes together. And then this is just repeating it by adding extra boxes and then it's how you stick it together. Again, I have done some of the work in advance for you. So you saw me actually take the main concept die with the original one that we did 
earlier. So you want that master die there, which will need one of the larger platforms. And I'm actually, I've cut it out. I'll go straight to the piece that I've cut out here. And I've done it in black cardstock this time. So you can see there how that fits beautifully in the die. And that die provides all the relative lines for you to fold and burnish. So again, let's just get all those in place. So burnish where you've got those fold lines. So all the horizontal ones, I've done some of them. There we go, that last one at the end there. And then down the sides, you've got your tabs and the side pieces of the box. And then the same on this side. Okay, and then last little glue tabs on here. So we're going to do a little bit of decorating again first before we, uh, we do any more to it. And again, you've got all these lovely pieces in here and a multitude. So, you know, you can decide what design it is you want. So, for example, you've got beautiful cut-in elements. We've actually got that lovely piece with the little curved corners, which is the piece I've used. And again, you've got the matching set for the end of the box as well, not just the long rectangular pieces. M layering, nesting dies here, all these beautiful embellishments that you can use. You've got the little lock and key and then the lock for the front of the box. Even elements to decorate that front edge of the lip, if that's what you want. So I went for the plain ones this time, and I've actually cut them out of some pink Centura pearls. You can see here how they fit in. And then I've just run them through an embossing folder. So it can be any embossing folder that you wish. I've just chosen an all-over background one. And then what I did was go on to add some gilding wax again onto those panels just to highlight. Ooh. So you can see the difference nice. there. So we've got that long panel and we've got the short one oh, there that we're wow. going to pop on the boxes. That gilding and wax looks great. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. All right. So let's pop those into place and then the sticking it together bit, just I want, that's the bit I want to show you how to get it all together. So we're going to go with the um, pieces here, whoops, for the ends. So these are going to fit nicely on here. And then this one's going to go on this side. Okay, dogs. There we are. <laughs> and then I've got one here that I've just punched. The die didn't do this. I've just used my little hole punch here to pop the hole in. And I've done the same on the covering piece here. Okay. So, no, hang on a minute. I don't know whether that one goes. I'm going to hang on to that for a second. And I'm going to hang on. I just need to work out where these two pieces are going to go. So, basically, again, we're going to bring these glue tabs up. You've got your side pieces that are going to fasten to the glue tabs. And then we've got our piece that folds in. So, you can see that's stage one of the box. So that's just the little single box by itself. And then we've got a series of these that we're actually going to fasten together. So just until I'm sure which bits are sticking together, I'm going to leave the two panels uh, to work it out. So what I've done, again, ahead of time, is I've made some with different coloured pieces on. So I've got one that's done in lilac, then we've gone to the pink, then we've got the lilac, and the last one's going to be the pink. All right, so the idea is we started off at the front here and I've got my piece where are we which side's opening up Jan that one there we go so you can see where we've got the opening piece here so all your openings want to face the same way so the next one's going to open this way whoops too hard Jan too hard that's why we've got those nice little sort of pieces here mm. to catch so the next one's going to be the lilac one, okay? And I've got my opening just here. Mm -hmm. And then the piece that's left at the back, so the one that we've just made, that would be this piece, is going to stick to the side of that box previous, okay? So again, I've just popped some tape on there just for speed. You can use a wet glue if you wish. And this one, keeping it in the same orientation, so we've got all our boxes opening this way. This is going to be, I've decorated the rest of the sides, 
and then this one's going to stick on there like so. Okay, we can just open that up and give that a good press together. So you can see we've now got our roll of three on the way. So this one is going to be the next one, and we're actually going to have the opening the same way again. Mm -hmm. So let's pop this one together so that we know what we're working with. Okay. So glue on the tabs there. Beautiful. We have had a winner in on demo of the have show, we? by the way. Yeah. Um, I think you can guess which one it is because I ran over and casually <laughs> took it off in front that of you. That would be cheating, wouldn't it? <laughs> the winner was the fifth one, which was the van that Jan has yep. made, that wonderful van box. It's Jan and her van. Let me remind you of the ones that you can vote on for demo of the day just whilst we're here. We have got demo number one created for you earlier on today by Crable. We've also got demo number two that was created in our Shaker Show Masterclass by uh, the lovely Jan, the lollipop design that if you can see has got the moving shaker element inside. We showed you how to make that's cool. And finally, you've got John's van with the box element. Vote on your one, one, two or three. Get voting on our social media and we'll let you know the winner soon. Jan, I'm back with you. Right. So I was just having a little look there as we went along. So what I've done is I've stuck this one together. That's all I'd done while you were uh, actually working with Becky there. So I've literally popped glue on the tabs, folded it in, and then you've got these two pieces here that just act as a catcher for the lid there. And then we've also got the little hole that I've already punched in the back there, which is eventually going to go back to back with this one like so get you so i can see now which bits actually need decorating mm -hmm. so let's just pop those on now so we've got the two plain panels are going to go on there so one there on the top oops preferably straight jam it's been a long day as I say, this is actually easier to do. Once you've made these and you realise how it fits together, you'll be okay to actually put these pieces on while it's flat. And then we're going to need the other piece. Now then, just before we do that, in the instructions, it asks you to cut just one of the pieces. So you can see here, it's this piece off the back of the box. So run it through the die and literally just take that one piece off here. Because what we want to do is we want to actually create... Um, a situation now where we've got those pieces that are going to go and this is going to be my back-to-back -back piece at the top all right so what I did is I went through and had a look where all the pieces fit together and I've actually popped some little letters and things on here so that I know what goes where so my two here are going to fit like so and that's going to bring me the back piece up at that side so first of all let's get that one popped on and it does go through all this in the instructions, so don't worry too much about it as to remembering what I've put where. So that one's going to go here and create that back panel for this side. So you can see I've got the little hole in the top there, and this one's actually decorated. So we're still opening up, up our boxes. Openings are on the inside so that when it's all folded together, nothing's going to fall out of there. All right? So we've got that one at the ready. And then here... We should have, I've got my P on this one and P on this one. So this one is going to go this way, like so. So you can see there, so that when we bring it together, it's going to stand up like this. So let's get those two stuck together next. So take the tape off. So I've just followed those instructions. And as I say, just to make it easier for on the TV, I just put letters on these so that I knew which ones fit together. And they fit nicely over the panels because it's all been die cut. All right, so we've now got our row of four. Okay, so I just need to work out which ones don't have any panels on. So we've got one missing from underneath here. So I can pop that one on now. That was that box that we made together at the beginning. So it's just a case of making sure you know which bits stick together 
And as I say, I would make this out of some scrap card if it was the first time that you were doing it and make yourself like a little prototype. Mm. Get it labelled up so that you know which bit sticks where and then you've got the facility to actually bring it together. So the last piece that I need is this one which I've punched a little hole in to match and that's going to stick on the front of here. So again, just... You know, I would probably use wet glue if I was doing this at home, just to make sure I've got a really nice bond on it. But just for speed there, we're going to pop that one on the edge. So you can see now that we've got all those pieces in place. Okay, When I turn it over, I've got all my boxes open up the same way there. So you've got the inside of them, like a little stair of boxes okay so they all want to be facing the same way and like i said this folds inside so that the uh, no I'm telling fibs this falls on the outside that way that's it and then you can either add your little velcro dot in there your little uh, hook and loop if you want what i'm actually going to do is pop some ribbon through here so that we've got um, a closure on it so i've just picked up some gold to match the um, embossing that we did with the, the gilding wax and I'm going to push that through there with my tweezers just to bring it through and then straight through the other side now you can decorate these two panels if you wish if you want to add panels on here but because they were going back to back I've just left them plain so again we're going to take that ribbon through both sides like so pop it through there and then I'm just going to tie that at the top to hold that one together and while I'm doing that decide which one you want to be the front whether we're going to work on the pink I think we work on the lilac for the front so what I've got here is that little tiny lock and we're going to thread that onto here before we fasten it so that that one's like so and I'm literally just going to tie this loosely so that you can undo it again to get into that that tower of boxes so just tie it the once and trim off that excess ribbon. And then we decided that this was going to be the front. So I've stamped out the word congratulations and just used one of those dies here off the kit. You can see there that shape's come off here. And we're going to put that one on the top here. And then the last piece was that lovely little closure lock. And again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue. Uh, we'll do the wet glue on there, I think, because it's going on to the embossing. And then again, that one's just going to stick as if we've got that lock to undo at the front there. So again, just give that a second to stick down. So you can see, you know, how literally, as I say, you've got those step-by-steps. It shows you how to make the first box, then you need to add the others, and then it shows you how to adhere them together to get the shape on there. So you've got that tutorial there, and you finish up with your little collection. So you can see the four boxes, how they fit together, and then just a case of undoing the ribbon, and you've got that roll-out technique there. So that one is your roll-up treat boxes okay just one of the designs if you did it with those beautiful cutting elements it would look totally different again do it with your pattern papers and it looks totally different again that is so yeah. beautiful thank you jan for showing us that how cool right if you do want to recreate that then you have the chance to do so we've got your rook and loop pieces here of your double-sided design we've got your stencils here to help you do the more let's play not quite advanced but the, the next steps let's say in the boxes so you have those ones as well for like the picnic box treat and for the roll-up treat box and for the prism uh, box as well then of course all of them come in the lovely packaging giving you on ideas of how you can use them and as you can see you do get all of the dies and there are embellishments for days you're getting lots of lovely different ones some larger panels some more delicate you are getting all of them for the different sizes and designs so that one was your prism this is for your um 
your treat box and then this one is your final one of course which we uh, used earlier so we have got all of those lovely embellishments all of those workable pieces you're getting 63 elements in total and you're getting the 50 um, hook and loop uh, clasps as well well you know sticky dots should i say to help you reuse these time and time again again as a quick <coughs> And um, we have got today uh, the opportunity for you to add and save. It runs out tomorrow at midnight. So if you have one thing in your basket now and you check it out now, you'll save 21%. But if you have five things in your basket and you check them out now, you'll save 25%. No code needed. It will just happen at checkout. So worth bearing in mind, especially if you've tuned in because you wanted to treat yourself today to our launch party product, which was this incredible lace like look collection. We're bringing to you with this really intricate a collection of dye, some wonderful 12 by 12. So I'll show you those in a moment. But this is your Broadway Anglaise, which has got this lovely, intricate detail. But you can create this incredible look with just one pass through on your die cutting machine. So you're getting those two dies, and then you're also getting new neutrals. These are wonderful. You're getting a textured one and a complimentary pearlescent in this wonderful, almost um, sort of delicate linen colour, actually. And then you're also getting this detail colour here, which has got an, almost a golden hue to it, like um, almost like a sort of corn husk hue it's really pretty then i've got for you all of these ones the pastel colors which have got such a wonderful detail to them again half of them have got a texture half of them have got a pearlescence and they are 12 by 12. these are going to be great for so many of the different uh, sort of dyes that we've done today they're going to work so beautifully some of these colors so nice to stock up on you can also get them by themselves if you would like to let me remind you too of our collections <laughs> where we got for you the shaped card bases. Now, if you haven't seen these, you've just tuned in. There was three different designs and Jan used just one of them to create this wonderful design. It is fabulous, isn't it? So you've got here that lovely box detail and design. Um, this is a camper van that we've got. But again, depending on how you decorate these, it's going to completely change the look. We had in here our bag, which could equally be a money purse or it could be a um, sort of satchel almost. You could actually change the handles on it, maybe put it on a larger design. It could be like a backpack. Um, you could cut this out in fabric, which would be really cool. Obviously, you like to weight fabrics. It's not a multimedia die, but that'd be really cool to do. Uh, this one is the camper van or ice cream van or taco van or um, ambulance or um, Scooby-Doo's van it wasn't his he's a dog he can't drive but you know what i mean uh, you can do loads with that and then you've got your shoes as well which i adore um so yes you have got all of these in one place and today nobody is actually paying 71.95 because you get 21 percent off that but if you are platinum today you are paying less than 57 pound 56 or less than 70 pound 84 for all of them so if you do fancy it it's a great one if you would like a deal that's so good it's not part of our planet anymore then you can these are some of sara davies favorites and we have got for you, oh, I'm so sorry, I left the tablet there. Just to let you know, behind the scenes, Goss, uh, I didn't get any of your messages for about 10 minutes because I hadn't plugged it in properly before, so it had died. So sorry that's in shop, but don't worry, we've... We've got another one here. Um, but yeah, we have got for you a lovely collection that Sarah absolutely loves, including some um, embossing, some dyes, including the likes of your lovely colour pads as well. Lots of things there that you may well use up and lots of things there that you might not. So if you don't have them, you can use them over and over. If you do have them, have you got a friend who likes to craft? 
send them on um, or sell them on if you wanted to because that deal is so exceptional. I mean, genuinely, if somebody came up to you and said, would you like to buy this outfit for £152, £142 or would you rather spend just £35? You'd be like, what's the catch? Wouldn't you? There is no catch. This is just an out of this world special. I suppose the only catch is it only lasts today. And also there is another catch, but it works in your favour. You actually get an extra 21% off that as a minimum. So well worth bearing in mind. Speaking of bearing things in mind, sometimes it's nice bearing in mind that when we craft, we enjoy it. But sometimes if we do the same thing over and over and over, it can become a little bit repetitive. It can become a little bit, I needn't say boring, but maybe a little bit, ah, yeah, easy peasy. And sometimes to boost your mojo, you want to do something a little bit different. This could be a cool one because it's part of our Explorer kit. Lots of cool elements in here you might not have worked with before that you could help you, sorry, explore your creativity. So I've got in here embossing and cutting elements that you'll run through your machine and you can get a look like this. I've got for you lovely, wonderful windows, which you could make this into loads of things. I'm looking at this and it could be kind of Romeo and Juliet, but also it could be like fairy tale castle. You could put a picture of, uh, oh, who's the one with the dead long hair? Rapunzel. Uh, you could put like a picture of her saying it. Uh, that could be kind of cool. And then you've got our wonderful sunbeam too cuts it out for you and gives you that texture too. If you like those, you're going to love that this is free. They give you a wonderful overall look with your roller tool. You're going to love even more that you're getting three individual colours of our water reactive um, inks for free too, including the green topaz, the grasshopper and the fuchsia. And you're going to love even more that for free, you get four of our wonderful blending tools that you can use many, many different ways. So loads of freebies in there and you get an extra minimum 21% off. Yep, everyone. So well worth thinking about that. I wanted to remind you as well, we had a stock uh, topper upper of our wonderful Centura Pearl. So the Centura Pearl, if you've not seen it before, has a serious sheen to it. You've got um, uh, 310 GSM and they are sizes uh, around the A4 size. A hundred sheets you are getting in total, including the likes of your baby blue and your deep purples are in there. You've got some nice minty colours as well as your fuchsia. So there's loads uh, to have fun with there. Saving 20%, but then you get an extra 21% off minimum. Yeah, really. <laughs> I know it makes no sense, but seize it whilst you can. If you do want to, of course. We have got a demo of the day winner through. And there have been some incredible makes again, as always today. And the winner for the demo of the day was this wonderful make here by Jan. It was our lollipop card, which has got, as you can see in the middle, the lovely shaker element to it. And it's a really nice 3D design. So this one was our winner for demo of the day. Congrats, Jan. Thank you. Honestly, just something a little bit different, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to see how that one does towards the end of the week. Who knows? Uh, I could do with another star. That Michelle's uh, well out in front, isn't she there? <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> but yes, absolutely love making all of the things. You know that I love. I don't consider this to be work anymore. I always say that I'm playing and it really is. Oh, that's so lovely. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for all of your lovely messages in. It's lovely to see Caroline saying the gilded paper is lovely. Mo Morve, Mo Morve, Morve is saying beautiful, Jan. Joe is saying... Um, I would have picked that last demo as demo of the show mm -hmm. um, and had it for the day if it were included in voting. Rachel says, fantastic show tonight, guys. I definitely need to try those beautiful makes. Thank you, Jan. There's just lots and lots of love for us today. We appreciate it, of course. Uh, Jan, when you're back. When am I back? I'm back a week on Thursday, so not this week, but next oh. week. And we've got some 
fabulous new creative expressions goodies and cartload yes we're back for yeah, cartload again on that thursday night so uh, yeah looking forward to that so when i get home after today let's get ready for the next lot get the list printed out have a look at the products and very excited about the creative expressions yes oh, that is brilliant well that's wonderful to have you today as always let me tell you a little bit about tomorrow which is of course the 16th of february what have we got on well in the morning you've got leanne and craig on the wake up call that's exciting and you've got paper dynamics you know yeah we've got keith coming here in the actual building so that's something really fun for you to keep your peepers peeled for also we've got craft along happening tomorrow as well and that's with the ornate dies and that's a with the wonderful Debbie Fisher as well tomorrow. So you have that to look forward to also. We've also got Angie in on Creative Craving. So it really is going to be a fun filled day, most certainly. I will be back with you next on Friday, which is when I've got Soft Aside with Becky. Um, and I've got a foil press special. It's a masterclass with Craig. And I'm really looking forward to that because I've genuinely not done a foil press show in like nearly six, seven months. It's been ages. So I'm really looking forward to that. And we've got some brand new fabrics uh, coming up on the softer side as well. That is the nicest fabric I think we've ever done. It's so cute. Uh, so yes, we hope to see you then. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your day or the rest of your evening, we hope it is wonderful. We hope it is creative. We hope it is fun. For us, for now though, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your company. Enjoy the rest of it. <laughs>